Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And Tanya's with us Yay! tonight. And we're going to continue our quest to play through all the yeah. nominees for the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards. And we're continuing with 2600 games. Bring it on. There we go. Bye, bye cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, today we're going to be playing the best Atari 2600 homebrew under or equal to 4K original imports, mm -hmm. best Atari 2600 work in progress original, yes, uh, best, <laughs> best Atari 2600 work in progress port, mm -hmm. and also be taking a look at the Atari packaging Yay, as well. I love the packaging. Yes, always very creative, and the packaging is a combination of all the different platforms all yes. together because it is nothing, Just to, do packaging. With, it's nothing not, to do with the game. The system doesn't matter. It's all as about much the artwork. As, yeah, as yeah. the artwork. So, yeah, very yeah. cool. Oh, yes, Rod Castler. Yes. The cats are very, very excited. Um, so I was uh, rushing to get the show together. Yeah. Before tonight, it all went down. Yes. Before it went down twice, but yep. it seems to be stable now. It's, nice. it's rebooted all good. router, fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I didn't have time to get the subscriber names, so I'm going to do oh. that super quick right okay. now. Okay. Okay. But in the meantime, yes. Well, we won't do it yet, I don't think. We'll do it in a bit. Okay. But well, tell them decide. what what's going to happen well, and show show them. We are going to have a coaster giveaway. We have, we're going to give away one of two coasters. If you want to flip it to the um, oh, sure. to the cat cam, I have made two new yeah. zero page coasters. They are very very holographic coasters, and you can see they they are. Ooh, look at that! Talk, oh, speak up. oh, look at that! <laughs> very sparkly, very sparkly. Can you see this one? Yes, yeah, so they have like a holographic finish on the top and holographic stars. How did you make them? I made them with resin and molds. But what kind <laughs> of molds? It must be something special. Yeah, no, they have a special bottom to them that, that give them that kind of very flashy look. So we're going to give one of them away. Um, and we're going to have a little bit of a... Um, Trivia contest. Trivia more contest. Of a, guessing. a guessing game might be more appropriate. I'm not sure if anyone will know the answer to this, so it's going to oh, be yeah. a lot of guessing. It's going to be more like whoever gets the closest, yes. really. <laughs> um, but it should be fun anyway. Oh, okay. well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, real imitation gold, I presume. Yes, real imitation gold. <laughs> real imitation gold. Um, so I have the names now. Okay. So we're all good. Excellent. So you delayed them just enough. Just enough. Um, the cats are still meowing. 8 Bit Poet. Uh, oh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who helped support the showers. Now, yes, properly updated and scrolling. Come here. Down on the bottom. You want to say the names out? You seem to be full of uh, meows. Yes. You want to meow the names out? Oh, thank you. You like my shirt? My oh, crazy it's a new one. Uh, retro wave cat face shirt. There retro we go. Retro wave cats. Uh, 8 bit poet, Al Nefer, Andre Atari, Archimage, Charm Score, Coder, Atari 1974, Atari H, Beef, Supreme Beer, Polka, Bruno Stex, Calico, Cell Dawes, Charles Donny Mao, Charles, meow, yes, uh, Charles Wheel, and Chitlila, Sierra Reboot, uh, Dale and Andrew Darling, uh, Danny Seed, Dave M A Z, Drexel, Dr. Mook House, Fiero Doug, Gamma Dev, Great Offender, Her Ground Trooper, Heralda Huju, Jimothy and Ch Jimothy Sunshire. <laughs> Oh, that's a mouthful. Johnny WC, Kabuta Kenzo, Carl G, Karakak, Croco, Kveldfer, Lambda Express, Lord Kraken, Mark Hannes, Mark's Basic, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Solman, Catal, Miss Command, MPK Swift, Mother, Musters, Arnold, Miss Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Nina Nostalgic 26, Peak B, Koag, Arantuitz, R70, Render Ghost, Prentice, VD, Reventuli, Ricardo Pim, Rycaster, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Warrior, Spinley, Esther Mears, Tiki Dan K, Token Muncher, Track MD, Twilight Zoner, Vexer X, Vintage Game Memories, VVD Double Down, X Can X. Woo. Thank you so much for helping support the show. <laughs> and I'm sure it's all because you love these kitties and their meowy ways. The cat, the neon. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Um, so we're not only going to be playing uh, those games that I mentioned earlier, those categories. We're going to be going through them one by one. Uh, We're also categories. We're also going to be playing Pong Wars, a new game by Thomas Yench. Nice. And also Alien Holocaust 2 Invasion Earth by Fernando Rodriguez Salvio. 
who was in the chat. Yeah, I saw him in the chat. I saw, chat. I did too. And uh, Thomas Jens gave me hell for playing his game today rather than on an early oh, show. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, it's Tom. We're Thomas. Play, it's because we're playing 2,600 games today. Well, you have to do next, them all in groups, unfortunately. In the next episode, we're doing 7,800 yeah. games, so it's kind of in theme. So, oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> that sucks. I'll write the D-Train. He said, announce my name. I just resubscribed. <laughs> oh, where? Oh, yes. Has it popped up? Oh, Al Defer resubscribed. Thank you so much. Or did he? Where? No, what? the D train said they just resubscribed. Oh, it didn't pop up. No, that's okay. Well, I'll believe you. Yeah. Thank you, D train. <laughs> oh my God, and that was my name. Yeah, uh, maybe it was while we were offline or. Possibly. Sometimes som it takes a little bit of a. Sometimes it takes yeah. time. Sometimes you have to log out, log back in. Yeah, Darcy it's very and funny. Tanya both have to do that. Yeah, that's true. It won't show up right away for some reason. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he just nicely said that. Oh, I know. He didn't yeah. give me heck. No. <laughs> he gave me a smiley face. Um, I'm just exaggerating. Um, so we're going to start with the best Atari 2600 homebrew mm. equal to or under 4K. We just Ooh. call it 4K. 4K. But it includes everything 4K and, and under. Below. Usually it's 4K and 2K. And I think all other games have to be padded up to 2K. Okay. Like even if they're 1K and they don't you need use to, like, the rest of the 1K, add stuff into you have it. Have to add a bunch oh, of zeros funny. because bunch I don't think I don't think they're or whatever you want. <laughs> you can add all Fs if you want. Just throw but it, zeros. But in it there. doesn't care because it yeah. doesn't execute those. Yeah. Um, but I think the smallest 2600 cartridge can be 2k mm. that's what they started out with mm. 0.5k yeah <laughs> it can be small we have played a 128 byte game mm. on the show mm. ram games ram games yeah yes. i was gonna say those are even smaller um so really really small they can be yeah. oh the d train is at carnival in new orleans oh wow have a good time yeah, that sounds like a, a lot of fun time. yeah um so i think we'll do the um a giveaway after the 4K Sounds good. games. Okay. If that's okay, cats yep. with you? Yeah, cats. Very vocal. I'm going to head and open up 8 bit workshop and work my first game. Excellent. Awesome. Do it. One the eighth of a K. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Alina from the forum. No Ram Pong. No, no Ram Pong. <laughs> There's Ramless Pong as well, where it doesn't use mm. any Ram. Mm. It's, it's both ways. It's very funny. Okay, so let's switch over to that. Oh, and a happy birthday yesterday mm -hmm. to the co-creator of Atari mm -hmm. and Syzygy, um, Nolan Bushnell. Oh, very nice. He is 81. Very nice. I believe. Happy Let me just... birthday. Yeah, 81, 81 yesterday. Nolan Bushnell, happy birthday. And he also created um, Chuck E. Cheese. Yes. We were... <laughs> yes. So let's... Start up the games. The first game we're going to be playing is Armor Ambush Reloaded uh, by uh, Bruno Stex. B Stex. I'm going to move the camera over. It's a bit too much on my side. I blame the camera. Armor Ambush Reloaded. What's what's going on? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, earthquake. Earthquake. Oh my god. <laughs> It's uh, fun dealing with a five second delay, too. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he barely ever designed any hardware or software. Well, he still founded it. Yeah. Yeah, and he left pretty pretty early. Um, okay, low. Oh, wait, wait. You're right. Don't do it yet. There we go. Now load it up. All right. Armor ambush reloaded. Oh, uh, that one. Always oh, NTSC. Yeah, I just didn't know what the first one was. At least for 2600. Ooh. Okay. Oh, very fancy. Now, I can't remember if there's options for this. Yeah, there's oh. different play oh. fields. Oh, let's fancy. Do, let's do that one. And I think we have pressed both buttons at the same time. Oh, thank you for resubscribing. Whoa, look TM at all that. events. Whoa, look at all that fancy nice. stuff. 10 months. Okay, press your button. Okay. I am the red tank. What is what are the other ones? Um, I think they are controlled by us. Uh, you know what? I, I can't remember. They have some other. Oh, they're tanks in reserve. Oh, you press down. 
Oh my gosh, I've disappeared. <laughs> you press down to switch so you can... Um, Wait, which is me? You're both on the left How hand side. You press what to switch? <laughs> You're not listening. Down, down, down to switch. Down to switch. Ah, okay. I accidentally did it. So I was like... You've emerged. You've emerged. Coming again. So you kind of have to protect both your tanks. <laughs> oh, see, and then it goes down to one tank. Thank oh, thank you for resubscribing, Neil Media. Or subscribing. No, 18 months. Thank you so much. So you can shoot through the water and through. S oh my God. <laughs> Celebration. <laughs> this under 4K game is too complicated for Tank. <laughs> what am I doing? Hold down your button. Although, I did win, so. Oh, I have to reset it. <laughs> Not couch compatible. Not couch compliant. Hold down your button. Okay. Kind of cool that you have to almost um, tactically position one tank and then you can go and switch to the other tank and then go after the person. But you also have to think about your other tank. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no. Uh. Um, and also when you fire, unlike um, combat, it kind of turns your tank a little bit. Yeah. So that you can't just keep firing straight. Press. So that's kind of a neat, neat option. Just a little twist. And some, uh, some decent play field graphics going on, especially for a 4K game. Ah, uh, well, I think you can take a couple hits. You, you can. I'm not sure. And it's a little bit slower through the water. We've got a hype train going. Yes, we do. All oh, right. My... <laughs> We're going to have to switch games. <laughs> <laughs> That's three in a row for me. Tanya dominated me on that one. <laughs> Thank you so much for resubscribing, Gamma Dev. <laughs> no warning about the non couch compliance. Yeah. Warning. It was it not, not couch up? compliant. No, because Gamma Dead did not couch compliant. I didn't hear it either. Is it uh, coming through? Oh, you know what? Is it turned off? No, it's like, hey, you need to update. Remember oh, last time? Yeah. I'll, I'll trigger it. S silly, silly updates. If you want to load up the next game, okay. Bob and the Alien Fireflies by 8 Bits in the Basement. Oh, there we go. Bob and the Alien Fireflies. Which one? Not the zip. This Not guy the zip. and TSC. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then I will trigger it. Nice myself. graphics on the tank rotation. Yeah. Twitch channel points. Not couch compliant. Your game is not couch is compliant. Not there we go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Gamma Dev. Yeah. This whole episode's a wash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not couch compliant either. Where is it? Press one. Oh, you have to select. There we go. Oh, you remember this one? Oh, geez. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, geez. You're going to get squished. Ah! Oh, didn't wait long enough. I forgot about this one. Yes, I have played this one. It is hard. <laughs> Ooh, just snuck. So you have to get in between the openings or wait till it passes. But... If you wait too long, it turns red, and then you die because you waited too long. It's really hard. <laughs> yes. Oh, and it's so easy to hit those walls. <laughs> Frozen? No! Uh. Is it going to be another one of those days? It might be. I'm just going to switch over. Oh, I don't need to switch over. You can keep playing. Keep playing for the uh, YouTube. Come on. Let's see. Let's see if it's a router first, which I doubt it. No, it's not the router. Must be the internet then. Uh. Let's try the internet. It's not the internet. Oh, we are back. Okay, weird. It's 
cutting in and out, but I didn't get to see it. Uh, should be back now. So I didn't, uh, well, I don't need to type anymore. So I didn't quite catch it in time to, to check out if it was the router, the internet, <laughs> or Twitch's servers, because all of them were working by the yeah. time I got to start typing it out. So that's the third time tonight it's gone out very, like just gone out just a tiny bit. But welcome back, all people on Twitch. <laughs> it's a repressed memory. It is. Okay. <laughs> is that enough? That's oh, enough. I guess we, we don't have much time for each of no, them. No, we it's played. Like, we play played. It. I think every single one of these games we have, which is nice. On the show, we do have so like more extended playthroughs of them. All. So people can refer to the other yeah. ones. Uh, Book of the Five Rings. Okay. How have we played this one? Oh, do you want to play this one? No, I didn't say I wanted to. Oh, I, I just, thought you said you haven't. I'm just saying, have we? Have we? Oh, yes, yes we, we have. have. Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I haven't picked up my joystick. So this is a fighting game. Oh, it, it's a sword fighting game. It's a game of timing and patience. Can you kick? No. No, it's block for down and button. I think there's only one sword move. So you can wait till the opponent makes their move. Oh. That okay. was a, that was a. Oh, it was a double. And when you hit, you, pound, you bounce back. Great sound there when it bounces back, like swords clanging off it's each other. It's treat time. It's yum time. Yum time. <laughs> is, is it treat time? Oh. It that's is. A bit. Okay, right after this game, we'll do treat time. Gamma Dev, thank you for triggering it for the cats. Oh my goodness. Oh my kittens. What are you doing? And we can do the um. Stop blocking. The giveaway. And attack me ever? Oh. There we go. She's just uh. blocking forever. Never going to win. But you're never going to lose either if you keep blocking. No, because I'm not all blocking. Uh. I am... Uh. Oh, if we both hit, then yeah. we both... Then you, then you, you oh, okay. bounce off as well. Oh, I ran into uh. it. Uh. Yeah, it has it a is, lot of charm. It, has it a does. Lot Look of at that charm. beautiful Mount Fuji in the background. And I'm guessing cherry blossoms. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if this has a score. I is don't it think it does. To, it just keeps going. It right? just keep you keep playing. It's just. I guess you have to it's keep zen. The score. It is zen. Hey, kittens. Oh. Ah, snap! Right yeah, you can't hold it. <laughs> I can't remember if we can go past They're each other. They're really don't, hungry. Don't hit me. Yeah, you can. Then what happens? Nothing. You can't turn around. Don't think. No. No. You have to <laughs> face each other. Okay, calm down. We're almost done. One more hit. Next one wins. Oh, I'm backed me into a corner. Yeah. Tanya's winning tonight. Tanya's winning I've played all these the games, games before. Hi. Poor starving cats with only braided cables to live on. <laughs> they only have enough energy to chew through the internet cables <laughs> that's, tonight. That's correct. Okay. Only enough to break the router. Time for treats. Are you ready for treats? Are you ready for the treats, kittens? Is it time for these? Yeah? Okay. Do you, do you think it's time for these? How is the showing going? Oh, oh that's going to fly off. Yep, there What's it goes. What's going on? What's going on? No, no, just the ball. Okay. Rolling off. So Listen, that's time. It's time for the cat bets. If you have never played cat bets before, you're in luck. It's time to play the cat oh! bets. Oh! What is happening? You've ran out the door. <laughs> Come in. Do so you much like chaos. That? He's so crazy. So much cat He chaos. loves to run out. He does not like doors closing. So you can bet on either of these cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neglect. Yes, so much neglect. So much cat neglect. Yes. Um, no, they're gonna get lots of treats. Yeah. Um. So you can bet on either of these cats. Yes. This is Sprite. He's very purry. Um. And that's Atari. Sprite usually wins. Oh, squeakies. Oh, squeakers. This is Atari. Squeakers. And yeah. they're going to ring some bells for some treats. Very simple game. 
and um, you can bet on how much they're going to win by. And it's the best to 10. Best to 10. Yeah. And they're very eager. Yeah, they Both are these cats hungry. are very eager. So you've got about a minute left. Hungry cats. To place your, place your bets. One yeah. One very loose. Are they? One of them's not so loose. They both work. Yep. Each has their own tone. Yes. Uh, Mount Fuji, oh. appropriate for an Atari game. For sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you can bet if they're going to be winning by one. Nope, don't bring the bells yet. Uh, by one or three one to plus. Two one to two. Or three plus. Or three plus. And so you, you, you have to kind of figure out, you know, where you think the spread's going to be. Yep. Sometimes Atari wins. Sometimes Sprite wins, most of the time. But uh, you oh, never know. You, re you never really know. That's across the board. Yeah, there we it's go. It's all covered. There's a lot of faith in Atari. There's yep. a lot of faith in Atari. 62% of the yeah. bats are going to Atari. For one to two. One to two. That's a close game. Yeah. Yeah. So that's some, some good bets on mm -hmm. that. It's it's a long shot, but going all in all on Atari. All in. Oh, my goodness, the D-Train. Got about 10 seconds left. Put your last minute bets in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, kittens. No option to bet. Uh... Oh, it's gone now. Sorry. <laughs> it should be a predict button at the top. Yeah. Sometimes on different platforms, you have to hunt for it's it. It's a little harder to find on the phone, I yeah, find. Yeah, it is. But you can, it will say prediction or something like that. Prediction. There's like a button somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next round, Neo Media. <laughs> yep. Next round, check it out. I'm sure this show will be long enough today to do that. Yes. Okay. Okay. In your corners. Oh, my. Oh, that Who was, was that? Atari. Atari. Yep. First to Atari. There. Oh, oh there Sprite! We go. That took a little bit of smacking. He, he was he was pawing at it a little bit. I think his his floof, his paw floof, is a little <laughs> slit. Oh, he lost it. Oh, you're a silly cat. <laughs> oh, he He's... knocked it across the room. There, he knocked it right to Sprite. That, that was very fun. Oh, Sprite! Sprite has has a taste now. <laughs> you got it. You Atari, got it. ring the bell. He thinks he didn't get it. Which ring is true, but we're trying to trick him into thinking he did get it. Sprite? Oh, Sprite got it. You gotta ring, ring the, bell. the bell. Ring the bell, Atari. Nope. The bell. The bell. This. Ring it. Ring it. Can you move it further <laughs> further back? Ring it. There, there you go. go. Good three, kitty. three. It's now tied up. He gets so manic because he knows Sprite. Sprite's going to go after it. He's going to go after it if he turns his... There you go. Now it's 4-3 for Sprite. Oh. Oh. I Atari's heard that. caught up. Yeah. 4-4. Four, four. There you go. Sprite's taking the lead with 5-4 now. Ring the bell. Oh, Oh, one, double ring. Two. There you go. Keep Sprite. One ahead. Oh, no. Uh, predict button wasn't at the top. Oh. It usually is. Interesting. Oh, get it. There you go. Atari's caught up. It's now 6-6. Six, six. It's a close game. Sprite is batting it way out of the way and taking a little bit longer than usual. It's 7-6 now. There we go. Atari's caught up. Oh, it's a tight run. It is neck tight run. and neck. I hit think the bell. Hit, hit the, the bell. bell. I think it's going to be won by one point. Come on. Oh, oh, hit the bell. Hit it. Atari, you're almost on it today. Oh, come on. There, there we go. go. Good kitty. 8-8. Eight, eight. It's all tied up again. Sprite is just in the lead. And it's now game point. Game point. Atari Hit ring it twice. Bell. Oh, he's Who's already back. It? And it's... Hit. Oh, oh, Sprite just got it. Sprite by two whiskers. There you go. Very good. Close game. Close game. Oh, that blue three plus. Sprite yeah. one to two. Yep. Atari was doing well. It was, but he didn't doing well. quite pull it off. <laughs> yeah. Cat Bell Wars, new homebrew for Atari. There you go. <laughs> Somebody's going to make it one day. <laughs> Good job. Somebody's going to Oh, make the D train. <laughs> no, they almost. never seem to help Sprite. But <laughs> Sprite does not need help. He definitely. This is not how we did it in practice. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost on it today. <laughs> well. They so never seem to help Sprite by telling him to ring the bell because Atari, he, he stares at me, waiting for me to throw a treat. That's why oh. I keep telling him to ring okay, the bell. That's not the right one. I oh. was like, oh my God. Uh, oh, what is happening? It's not starting over again, is it? No, Sprite one to two. Oh, it's timing out when it goes away. There you go. Uh, so uh, Sprite one to two. Yeah. Every single bit goes to Al Nefer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're the only person who bet on Sprite one to two? 
Oh my really? god! Really? Found the fur way to go. Wow, <laughs> that was a good call. Very good. Al call. got it all, says Dan. Yeah, thirteen thousand wow. channel points to Al. Congratulations. Al is rolling in the money, rolling in the bites. <laughs> <laughs> rolling in those bites. Yeah, those cat bites. Now he, he can trigger the next one. Now yeah, <laughs> he's so rich with cat bites. Yay! Good kitties. Good kitties. Okay, let's go on to the next game. <laughs> Oh. It's Bot and Tom by Thomas Yench and uh, John Calciano. Calciano for a Tard Boy 2600 for the packaging artwork. Nice. Give your controller back. There you go. You can answer the random James question. Uh, James, random question. 2600 plus worth Which one was it, Bot and Tom? Tom? Okay. Oh, it's a zip file. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. File. What did I do? The zip file is sorry. not executing. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, uh, 2600 plus, oh. worth it or not? Uh, yes and no. I think it all depends on what you're looking for in the system. Um, it has gotten a lot better at compatibility like way 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 better mm. which is which is great um for me right now no because i have all the systems i don't need any more systems um i think what would put it over the edge for me is just a touch more compatibility on the 2600 side, they pretty much got the 7800 side sorted out. Mm. That's not an issue. There we go. Um, so a little bit more compatibility uh, on the on the 2600 side. If they can get, I think for me, if they can get um, ARM games running on it, I'm in. I'll get one. Mm. Um, but for people who just want to play classic games, 100%, yes. It is such a convenient way for playing uh, classic Atari 2600 and 7800 games and Homebrew 7800. The compatibility is really good now. Like, it's compatible with um, Muddy Vision games. Nice. Who are pushing the limit. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it, right now for me to answer that question, it is dependent upon your use of it. And I think it would fall within a lot of people's um, yes category because it uh, because of the seven, uh, HDMI out. It's uh, we got really good. Um, I mean, obviously with HDMI out, it looks great. You can use it on modern TVs. It's convenient. Very good for it's people. It's portable. Who don't have all the hardware that yep. they want, right? And I've been seeing a lot of posts on social media about people like getting buckets of 2600 games now really off of like secondary markets that's kind of nice yeah that's kind of nice to see because you can get tons of them like really common but very good games for a very decent price especially buying in lots so there you go so bot and tom super fun Super duper oh, fun. It's, it's so simple and so much fun. Graphics are great. Two little robots great. attached by an elastic. Yep. And it's got. We're gonna switch to different play, different modes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, it is so. It's simple question. and so much fun to play. I think the question mark might have the power ups. Oh, maybe. It's been a, a little while since. There's. I think some of them are kind of random levels, so they they don't necessarily ramp up in difficulty. They. Start hard oh, too. yeah, you've got um, the bonus Do now I? for... No, it, it, I had the, Did the you? two times, oh, okay. yeah. This one may not have... I don't know. I haven't seen one yet. Let's, uh, might be option two? Let's see. I don't have all the instructions nearby. No, for unfortunately. For all these games, because there's so many games. <laughs> Very, 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 very fun game. Uh, bot and Tom. Bottom. Yeah. Bottom. Why did I never... I never heard that until, <laughs> oh, until really? I just said that. I never yeah. got it. That's just so, tiny so funny. Just to show you. I 
not good with uh, puns. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> They're the worst. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like a good dad joke pun. Yeah. It's the best. Very nice. I can play this forever. Well, until I die. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we can we can switch it over. We've played this before. Yep. Highly recommend this game. Oh, so, so much fun. fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Of course, these are the you know best of the best of the year as voted on by the nomination committee. Uh, next was Duello by Nathaniel Vasco Vasconcelos Leteo. Oh, is it Duello? Duello, yeah. and this is a two K game. Duello. Yeah. Yeah. That Duello, one. Nathan. Nathaniel. Nathaniel Vasconcelos. Concelos. Consuelos. Consuelos. Load it up. I just like that name. Uh, I was just trying to <laughs> trying to read the name. Pick the zip file. Of course, file to continue. Not zip file. Oh wait, I th I thought I hadn't. Okay. No. So you got to shoot that guy at the top, and there's a shield that is constantly following you, trying to thwart your efforts. And there's also the guy shooting from the top. Ugh. Makes clever use of playfield and the different oh, really bad at this game. horizontal planes. Oh. Oh. oh, my timing is so poor. Oh. <laughs> I'm not good at this game. You're good at this game. <laughs> not couch compliant. Oh. Oh, this looks different. Yeah, it's it's random. I and believe. you and you can't. Oh my god! You can't move while you're shooting, so you can't just like hold down the fire button. Yeah, you really have to have to figure out the pattern of the the laser. Like he's doing one, two. Oh. Right. Nice. Lucky. Yeah, Neomino's like look. It looks challenging. I like it. <laughs> I think. Uh, you just, uh... I think the laser's even It's all time. timing the shots, really. Timing it for what's at the top of the screen. And then I, I usually like to make two Yeah, so you have holes. two shots. You Because he's going to fire lasers in two different, like... And it usually it does shift. Oh, close. <laughs> My god, it's so hard. It is hard. Yeah, it is challenging. It is hard. I mean... And um, I didn't know this, but Nolan Bushnell is credited for, um, or maybe I did know it. Easy to learn, hard to master. And this is one of those games. It's like, yeah, you just shoot the guy and avoid the laser. But is it easy to master? No. Is it hard to learn? No. And that's kind of the sweet spot you want with every game. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was completely random. <laughs> Funny. And to pack all this uh, fun into 2K, that's amazing. Oh Ooh, my gosh. Double quick ones. Snap. Okay, that's not bad. It gives you a lot of time. Oh. Close. Oof. <laughs> oh, he hit me three times. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's credited uh, for that phrase. Like when I was, um, when I saw that it was birth his birthday, I was looking up some facts about him. Oh, nice! That yeah. was that was one of them. That's his phrase. <laughs> that, he's credited for that. Doesn't mean he came up with it, but he's that, credited he's for that. The phrase. one who's credited. Interesting. So mm. next game, mm -hmm. uh, and the last one of the 4K is Laser Face Island by Your Face. Laser Face Island. Love it. Um, Not the PDF. The bin. Always the bin. Okay. These are the uh, directories that are given to people who... Um, Am I doing? Uh, you... Oh, if I remember, you go... Well, go off the screen. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a maze. <laughs> yeah. So this is another 4K game, and it's actually surprising how big, ah! <laughs> big this game is. Now you I'm have guessing to... you have to run... Oh! away from that you have to avoid those dudes yeah you've lost a little bit of life well you ran right into me and you have to go collect things 
They do reset, I believe, if you go back. You do have to go around them. You can't just avoid those oh. areas. No! Laser face. Let, let, laser face? Yeah, I think you have to collect uh, a weapon, if I remember correctly. Kittens! Oh, you got the gold. Then there's a weapon you have to get. No, and if I don't know if you noticed, you appear in the middle of the screen every time you go to a new screen. Yeah. So just be prepared that you're not... Oh, now you're in the desert area. There's multiple areas. There's also an underground area. It's probably one of the most extensive yeah. RPGs in 4K that I've ever seen. I love the guy with his hat. Hungry, hungry heads. Yeah. Next version of Harmony will have a PDF viewer, I'm sure. Yes. Fernando Salvio. Always the bin. <laughs> Carl G, I don't like appearing in the middle of... Oh, yes. I can't believe this is a 4K game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, you got a motor in this. Underground. Oh, my God. And be very precise with your jumps. Oh my god! <laughs> and the and the jumps are random. I don't think this is gonna. This is this is. I'm gonna get. I past did finish this. this game. Did you? Yeah. You I got ha- through this. I had to finish this game when we played it because it's right up my alley. Oh, like this is not gonna work well. Light RPG. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Panic. Very the, sudden lava flow. <laughs> yeah, the lava flow is very. <laughs> The mountain was angry that I'm pa- day. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. You're panicking. Here. You, you, yeah, I'm panicking. One life left. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, this joystick's so hot. Ew. <laughs> it also smells like cat to treats, by the way. Ew. <laughs> I was laughing. I don't know if you saw. Sprite was licking the corner of the couch. It's where I rub my hands on the couch oh, after I feed them oh, treats. That's why he does it. <laughs> It's like, because I always end up Why? with like, like, like little bits of cat treats on my hands, and then he was like, I'm like, it's the worst noise. It's the oh my goodness, what is that? A big boot? You died. That's a pit. Oh. Yeah, this is astounding <laughs> for four. Awesome. That astounding is astounding for four. That is astounding. It's got th- three different areas. It's got mm. multiple bosses. It's got a huge map mm. above and underground. Mm. It's it's crazy. And different perspectives too. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. astounding. Um, and there's a sequel to this. Is it? Is it uh, part of our list? Did it get nominated? It's the sequel. Laser Fla- Laser Face Planet. Oh, the sequel. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if it got nominated. So they both came out this year. Yep. Wow. Someone's been very, uh, very into the developing. Uh, no. Getting two. No, nope, did not get time nominated. Okay. It's also very good. Yeah. But it's still a work in progress. Uh, I see, I see. Um, okay. Now we're going to move on to the works in progress. Okay. Starting with a button. Port Third. or original? Port. Uh, original. Original Port. first. Okay. Button. Oh, there's Laser Face Planet. I didn't even see it. It's right there. Yeah, so it did get nominated as well. Uh, Button by uh, Jonas Carlson. Uh, Oh. Uh, Hold down the button on the top one. Okay, let go. Now hold down the button on the bottom one. No music? Did we play PAL 60? Oh, yeah, it'll just have weird colors. Uh, Do the top one. I think it should yeah it, it works the pal version works okay oh this guy oh yeah this was fun this is hard i did finish this one but it is hard uh, so... you want a hard platformer oh my goodness this it's is very super meat boy except they're alive <laughs> which means it's really hard physics in this game are astounding. The graphics are astounding. The music is astounding. Yeah. <laughs> you have two options there. It's so hard. Yeah, great soundtrack. So I can see this possibly getting nominated um, for music and sound when it gets finished. Oh, it's so hard to land on that little platform. And Ew. he actually changed the music um, from the original music. And I got to 
play it for um, Erlen next time he's here. Because the original music was from John Carpenter's movie, oh. Assault on Precinct, Precinct 13. Really? And Erlen loves that song. The song? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. After we did the oh that one after we did the John Carpenter marathon, he was singing that song almost every episode of oh. of Zero Page. Oh, I didn't know that that happened. Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I I jumped off the edge and I I lost my platform. Oh no. Uh. Oh. oh. It's so hard. <laughs> We spent, so hard. we spent a long time on this uh, we game. We won't spend the time we spent last time on this no, game. but just check out the other episode. Give you one more chance to get through it. As someone who's ripped off that tune for a great game, I can't complain. Yeah. This one was too floaty and too spiky. It is very floaty is and very spiky. Floaty and spiky. But that you, describes it extremely well. But you need those floatiness to, <laughs> to get to get where you want to yeah. go. You need to float over there. And I love the tiny, <laughs> tiny little character too. Like it makes it look so much more detailed. Hey, that's it. You okay, got your done. Okay. <laughs> Next one is Frazzled by Dave Marley. Yep. In. Are you still licking the uh, side of the Stop couch? Stop licking the couch. Oh. So this is Frazzled. It is like the game on, the, on Merlin handheld called Lights Out. So you have to match what you see up top. Oh, yeah. On the bottom while avoiding things that are coming by. I've forgotten how this works now. Now, he does give a full explanation of hints on how to change things. I, I, it's been a long time since I've done this. This is not going to go well. <laughs> okay, that's all of it. Hey, you did it! Yeah, I can figure it out eventually. Rounds one! And you can't get hit by the things, right? That's right. I can't remember what happens. You might lose lose a life or game over or something happens. Yeah. Uh, no cube. You move things around. This one you change. You flip things. Oh. Or maybe it takes time away. That might be it. Unless I'm thinking of a different one. Um. Yeah, if you press the button on the thing you're on, it will flip the one you're on and any one that is horizontal or vertical to you. Damn it. Uh. And this one has a time limit as well. Now, all these are work in progress, so there's still more work to be done. Mm. <laughs> and, and part of the challenge is just doing the thing, but the other part of the challenge is it's reflected on the ceiling. Like the movie, chess movie, Queen's yeah. Gambit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is the Queen's Gambit of Lights Out. Is that what it is? <laughs> okay, yeah. that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> it was really cool. The perspective is really cool. You, like, it's They're like, like a suck. 3D perspective. All okay. right. Okay. Whip it it is a fun game. Very, Next very one is game. Laser Face Planet. All right. We have the sequel to the game we just we played. Do. What was that noise? Who did that? Someone did that. Cat? Neither. The cats are both down here. There's a noise upstairs. Okay. I'll go check it out. This is a <laughs> uh, platformer when you okay. can go to different planets. So you can travel to that planet, that planet, or that planet. Nice. Are these guys bad guys or are they good guys? I don't know. Probably just next door coming in. I'm guessing. Gold! Give gold. me the gold. Can Press I get down. the gold? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Is there no gold? Oh, maybe you already have it? Maybe Press I up, it. down, left, right, button, up, and down. Don't, no, don't do that again. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, no. No? Okay. Maybe you already have it. You already have it. That's, that's weird. Okay. Hmm. So this is also by your face. So he's got two nominations. Now you can float out of here. How? By pressing up and holding up. Or the button. Oh, that fly is off the so planet. funny. Maybe start with that one. Mm. Down and fire. Did you try that? Yeah. Oh. Because mm. that's what that's what your goal is to get money, and then you go. Um... That would make sense. What happens? Gotta jump. Down and fire. No. Okay. It's been a while since I played this. Down the ladder. Go oh, the there's the too. shop. When you um, when you have money. when you have money, you don't have any money. There we go. Okay. I like his jumping mode. He has one leg up in the air. Does he? <laughs> Whee! He goes yay! He leads with his leg. Okay, let's try and get this money. Don't fall in the pit. Nope. No. Oh. Oh. Why am I not going diagonally? <laughs> go diagonally. Go diagonally! Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is going on? Yep. Jump normally. Oh, okay, that's why. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Why aren't you jumping anymore? There yeah. you go. There we go. I don't know why that wouldn't work last time. That's Down funny. and button, right? Yeah. <laughs> There we go. James you have to be careful. Go, James yeah. went to go check because the burglar was Canadian. They just came to say hi and sorry about the window. <laughs> <laughs> a boot? Right. A boot. Video game logic. His propeller beanie can still fall in pit. Yeah, and uh, love these guys' mouths when they jump. They have Pac-Man mouths. They do. Really intense about the jumping now. Well, no, it's because if you jump and hold, your beanie kicks off. <laughs> I think if you press a button if first. If you press, no, if you jump and press up, the beanie kicks off. So trying to go diagonally, if I'm pushing up instead of diagonal, oh. it's kick. It's going straight up instead of on an angle. That's why. <laughs> you have to jump and then then do it. That's why. Ah, oh, nothing here. Dead end. It's so cute. It's very, very cute. Oh. <laughs> Make me crazy. Yeah, it's making me crazy. <laughs> oh, you explored everything down there? Um, yeah. Oh, I. Oh, God. Stop. I want to see what these controls so it's, I it's. I'm hitting. The, I'm hitting the angles. That's why. Oh, God. <laughs> the pit for you. That's what you have to jump and then go to the side. So up is the beanie that goes up? Yeah, here. You want to okay. try? <laughs> Tanya likes four-way joysticks. I do because <laughs> I find the diagonals <laughs> the diagonals always get me. Yeah, she tends to press up when, or down when she's I want I, to. I just don't hit them exactly and then, then I hit up instead of on the angles. Yeah, I'm generally I generally don't like angles with nope. joysticks. I don't nope. at all. They don't agree with you. Yeah. Ah. A horse with the head of a Pac-Man is the enemy. That's pretty scary. <laughs> it is. It is pretty scary. <laughs> Something about him. Oh, is... actually, there was a path upward here, wasn't there? Yes. Yes. Ooh, Ooh. secret. Oh, he oh, looks like a boss. Yeah, uh, he's pretty boss-like. Can you go in here? Or can... No. Oh, three guys I'm losing lots of health. No, they're just decoration. And trees. They're like scarecrows. Oh, hi, oh, black kitten. He just came oh, and cuddled right loops. next to me. Oh, no, it doesn't loop. Did he? Oh, that's so cute. I might have been worried. I came down last time. Uh, it's like, maybe. I don't know. Personally. Oh, maybe it is. Big heads. Oh, no. Nope. Pot of gold. And we die. Okay, All right. let's go to the next game. Kitten, your tail. 
So next game is Minigun Miner by Dr. Ludos. Hopefully don't run into not pal, no, not Cam. Not Cam. Not, not France. Is it only France? I guess no, it's France and some parts of Africa. Mini I gun think. Miner. Okay. Yep. How, how? The guns also propel you. Uh, that's right. I remember this now. <laughs> it's, it's challenging. It's so unique. So it's a uh, a game where you dig down and you get the gold, um, and you also avoid things as you dig through and you can shoot in any direction as well but if you don't shoot down you will start falling down and it's got very dig dug colors yeah so i just i love the color scheme i love the very unique control system takes a little bit of getting used to a little bit I was surprised to see Seacam even mention Muscles get a screenshot in an article about 2600 in Retro Gamer. Yeah, Seacam is super rare. It wasn't in very many countries. And it really got shafted by the 2600 because I believe they got eight colors total. That's it. All they got was eight colors. I can't remember the reason why they only got eight colors. No, as long as it doesn't go off the screen. True. Now you can be killed by that one tiny sliver. So just be very careful. I think you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. One more That's try. definitely not the easiest one. I think it was France and colonies of France as well. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah. So... Or legacy colonies of France. France where France was. Oh, first enemy. Um, so I think there were some African countries and a couple of other territories around the world. Now, the enemies in this are a little bit more challenging because you have to <sighs> kind of make enough room. Yeah. And also not go back up into the enemy after you pass them. Dr. Ludos makes um, games for a number of systems. He's done um, also Lynx games, and he makes Game Boy games. And he's only known by Dr. Ludos. Really? Yep. Mysterious. Oh. Okay, my turn. <laughs> So I have, bad at this. I have not been able to find another name from him. He really? does not want his name known. Well, that's okay. Maybe he's an actual Some doctor people and are uh, very secretive. doesn't want to know his uh, his colleagues to know that he is a, an excellent uh, game designer. A, a game, yeah, there you go. He's embarrassed by his... Oh, uh, no. Who would be his embarrassed? His excellent design. So you have to kind of push it, push the screen down and then dig and clear enough space for you. But then while you get down, you have to not come back up. You have to get down and make a space and get him past you. You have to get... Yeah. It's past really enough. hard. It's like one, two... Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's really hard. Heard a lot of people just bought PAL 2600 from neighboring Ooh. countries anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. But the PAL systems will work in NTS or uh, CCAM mm. land. If their television would support PAL, then... Or if they probably bought a PAL television, Oh, that's too. true. Yeah. But right. then they would have to have 50 hertz power. I don't know what CCAM uses for power. I have no idea. I don't know. Not the person to ask. <laughs> no. Uh, next one is Oh No More Peril. Oh No More Peril. Oh, Vitoka said, I wrote a I, proto 10 liner so. with, this in, with this idea. Then forgot about it. Oh, wow. I would love to see that. You should, you should uh, go to back to work on it and enter it into this year's contest. So I know you enter a number of games. Uh, I recognize VH said C. Oh, no. More Peril. Yes. VHZC. Who uh, is a very prolific programmer, developer, and has a number of nominations this year. Let's see. One. Ah! Too fast. Too fast. Um, two. 
three, four, five, five nominations this year for VHZC, which is uh, pretty normal. <laughs> he, he's very prolific and he makes great games. He's got his own whole world. And these games connect together. They do. Because I think it's Ninja Sky that gets in the helicopter at the end of Ninja Sky. That's correct. So he kind of continues his adventure in the helicopter. Uh, break out the VHCC bingo cards. We should do that next time he has a game. Make a VHCC bingo card. All right. Have we found the Flaming Skull? Have there's we found Flaming the... Skulls. There's Pong. Um, there's there's Lightning. Yes. There's bats. You have to have at least nine to do like a three by three bingo. Oh. There's things you push, like a button. He's also incorporating things you actually like move and push around too. There's platforms that you jump off. There's bombs. Nope. Oh, nope, <laughs> not yet. No, there's nothing. Oh. There's keys you get. No. Oh, you have to backtrack. Oh no, not the backtracking. <laughs> Do you have bullets yet? No. no. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it on a flat surface, so I always find that harder. Uh, 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 to get all the angles. Did I say lightning bolts? Yeah. Want to start over? I went the wrong way. Oh no! <laughs> like I'm backtracking. I have to backtrack. Oh, the whole... Okay, start it over. <laughs> very briefly. Very briefly. <sighs> okay, there we go. Backtracking also belonged. Yes, backtracking. That works too. There we go. Because there's oh fire. Fire as well. Flames. Be more generic. Uh, what else? We'll have to look and see. Oh, springy things? No, that's a that's a yeah. button. That's a button. Springy things, though. But springy things. It wouldn't work for peril because you're no. flying. No, true. You have to find, you have to get the guys, right? Yes. Oh, there's the lightning bolts. So we went to a concert. Yes. Uh, this weekend, well, past weekend, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, had three bands, two of which were excellent live, and the third one nice. kind of was disappointing. Kind of disappointing, not because they were bad, but no, they were just not excellent. as good as the first two bands. Yeah, they're excellent recorded and we've been to bands like that before mm -hmm. where it's like oh my god they're so good the music's so good but then you go and see them and you're like oh they just stand there <laughs> and they they don't engage they don't talk with the crowd they don't barely look at the crowd kind of yeah really really boring so it was kind of kind of disappointing there's still good music but it's just not you go to see bands live to see them live and to see to kind of their personality if that yeah. makes sense and if they don't really show the person their personality well that is their personality yeah. obviously yeah it's standing there singing their songs um but you can you can yeah no stage presence that, that that's sums exactly it up. yeah um yeah they perform perfectly but they even, did their songs great but even the music i was less impressed with them with the other bands there oh, was yeah. less diversity in their music and yeah. they were probably by far the most popular of the three bands. 100 percent. so it was kind of funny to me yeah and we went to another concert like that a while back yeah we did where it was like i was really excited to see, see the headliner a certain band yeah and it was the same like no stage presence like they all dressed up nicely and played absolutely perfectly they sounded exactly like the recordings but uh yeah no stage presence so you've got your bullets. Okay, we got to move on. We could play this All one right. forever. Next one is Steps. We played this one pretty recently. Is there a cat chewing my hair? Hi. Oh, probably. Is that providing emotional support? Emotional support cat. 
Freddie Mercury, king of stage presence. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he's all, he was all over the stage. Unlike these kitties who have tons of stage presence. They do. They're cute. They're fluffy. They're dynamic. Ports? Uh, original? No. Nope. Still nope. original. One more? One more. Right. Steps. Ah, uh, yes, Steps. By Dave Christensen. And T. And this is actually a 4K game mm. that made it in. Oh, this one we just played that not, not that long ago. Yeah, so we remember the rules. I do. So I would do a short one. So we can show off the short one. Uh, yeah, do this for sure. So the rules are you're on a three. That means you can move three. You're on a one. That means you can move one up or one down. And your goal is to exactly land. Thank you so much for cheering. Sword Chucks 83. Glad you're enjoying the show. So you need to get to that four and then go up. There you go. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of math. A bit of strategy, a bit of puzzle. There you go. And two to get to the top. And you're a little squirrel. Doot, doot, doot. Trying to get to the top and get, retrieve your, your nuts at the top, I think. A little acorn at the top of the mm -hmm. stairs. What do you, I think you have to get to that five. Mm. Yep. yep. The cats are trying to electrocute themselves. They're trying to get to the treats. And they're trying to make us mad, too. They're misbehaving like little children. So that we appease them. Kittens. Stop it. So I got uh, I got the movies today, some some of the movies for uh, the Martin Scorsese Film Festival. Yay! Yay! Six movies for it. <gasps> There's your goal. One, two, three. Is that scratch? <laughs> Is what scratch? Math. They told me there'd be no math. Sorry. <laughs> there's a lot of math in programming, and there's a lot of math in this game. It's very simple math. There's no, um, there's no multiplication, no division, just adding and subtracting. That's all the math you need to do. And what do you need to get? Five, two. You need to get to that two. So how do you get to that two? One, two, three, four, five, six. You need to get to the six. And then up to the two, and then... Yay! Da -da -da! You're the king of the castle. I say just scratch, yes. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get his nuts. Yep. Gotta get his nuts. You did it. Okay, now we are on to best Atari 2600 work in progress port. Yay, the ports. And the first Bye. one is Beyond Parsec by Grocer Games. Kevin Kelly. So we've got some options here. We'll just do the defaults. Remember this one. Planets. Ready. I think it's been a while since we played this. Oh, okay. Okay, I remember. It is two player. Oh, I died immediately because I was grabbing the joystick. Okay, this is a very dangerous game. So you can shoot the um you can shoot the other player. <gasps> or you can start wrecking stuff by <laughs> making the making the uh Asteroids. Oh, I remember this now. Go nuts. <gasps> oh, so don't, don't my goodness. Don't hit the city. Or you can camp, I guess. Oh, I'm out of bullets. <gasps> or you can try and slow down the mess you made. Hey, hey, leave Bernie alone. Because you started that. Uh... Oh, you can <laughs> slow it down. I thought you could. I don't know. It doesn't look like you can. Oh, yeah, you can. You can. Takes a couple shots. There we go. Now it's slowed down. Ah, oh, you got me. So you can create oh. havoc for the other player, but yeah. you're also creating havoc for yourself. It's a neat game. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Cat, stop chewing my hair. You've got you've got oh. someone working for you back here. <laughs> Get her. Get her. <laughs> ah. Okay, those are lives left at the bottom. 
Oh my god! I whoa, 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 whoa. Goodness. Oh! Ah! Oh, it's sped up because it's... I can't turn around and shoot it from the other side. It's only knowing that it's me shooting it, and it's assuming I'm shooting it from the right-hand side. Interesting. Ah, uh, yes, we figured that out before, I think. Did we? <gasps> yeah. Hey, leave Bernie alone! No! <laughs> ah! Oh, it's zero, zero. It's game point. And oh, good job. Hey, 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 you got Bernie! No! You are a bad kitty. What are you doing? Leave Bernie alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On to the next one. Mm. Legend of Zelda. Where did he go? By MSX Rules. Not put him back. No, no, the cat. Oh, he's out in the hallway. Oh. <laughs> he has a timeout now. Yeah. Did Bernie roll around the cat treats at some points? No, he just likes some. Um, he's quite a toy cat. He has a whole bin of fluffy stuffed animals, and, and he, he spends all day them. running around the house with them in his in his mouth. So yeah, yeah he likes Bernie. He's in his list of favorites. So. Legend of Zelda. Legend. By MZX Rules. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Sure. No. What? It's, uh, Atari says no. Interesting. I'm going to try something. We're going to move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, Minotaur. Okay. By Bob McGon... Bob... 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 Bob Montgomery. V-Dub Bobby. Oh, yeah. It's a tank game. Shoot those tanks. Oh, my God. I just... Don't get shot. Protect your flag. Oh, God, you I've opened up your flag. I did it entirely <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That's bad. That was in trouble. At least you're not very smart. Oh, I'm all good. Oh. <laughs> Not good. Oh. Oh, it's really hard with the long stretches. Same firepower you do. So you gotta watch out for them. Oof, lucky. The best strategy is to let them run into your yeah. field of fire. Legend cease and desist. Zelda no way. Oh. <laughs> uh, Big M found the ROM and removed it from your harmony card. They corrupted it, apparently. Got to get my hands on some of these homebrews. Yeah, these no. are all uh, nominated games. <laughs> How did I do that? He didn't even get it. He didn't shoot it. You're lucky. Oh my goodness, they're not very smart. All these games are nominated for the Atari Homebrew Awards, and you can download them all. <sighs> don't, don't run into them. I'm playing very well. I know when I played this last time, I really got the hang of it. <laughs> you ran into them. That's one way to do it. Okay. Good game. Really, really, really fun to game. Let's try... Legend of Zelda All right. on the Uno card. Legend of Zelda. Where is it? On SD card content. Okay. Today's date. Yep. Legend. Legend. Yep. There we go. Oh. Is that why it's not working? No, no, no. There was, um... Oh, there's something last time. Anybody remember? 
what we did last here. time yeah. to make this work. It is too much game. Damn it. Genesis button, says Carl G. Genesis no, button? No, we don't have any Genesis plugged in. Mm. Just have 7,800 joysticks. Ah, I can't remember what it was. There was something that was making it go nuts. Let me switch all the difficulties. No, it wasn't that. Mm. Yeah. Is it not not like a switch that's auto on or? Let me hold down the button. <laughs> Try blowing into the cartridge. Good, <laughs> good suggestion. Good suggestion. Good suggestion, Sorchucks. Not gonna do it, but good suggestion. <laughs> me... Ah, damn it. Okay. I can't remember what it was. Okay, well we might have to revisit this one then. Yeah. Sorry, all you Zelda fans. Okay. Sorry about that. We'll figure it out. It doesn't do that on an emulator. I remember that. Okay. Next one is Pas de Deux. Pas uh, de Deux. By Thomas Yanch. He has a lot of games nominated as well. Remember this one? Vaguely. Avoid the things as you pass through them. Oh, yeah. I was starting level one, but you start on level two. Did I? Going okay. for hard oh, mode. Oh, boy. Yeah. Going I didn't, for hard I didn't mode. know there were... Did I switch levels? Oh, I did. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> can you can you pass by them? No, you can't. Can you? No. You have to spin. <laughs> continuously uh, spin to the right. How do I do it? Use a different controller? Oh yes, you're right. Maybe require a Genesis. That's a good that's a good uh assumption, actually. Keep spinning and then spin to the other way and then spin to the other way. There you go. Oh, it's, oh, it's a bit of a brain. Ugh. I'll get a Genesis out. Oh, too fast. Stop it, Tanya. Oh. oh, you did it. Level one done. One dash two, not level one. One dash two. One. <laughs> oh, you're going too fast. Oh, just. Oh, just by a pixel. Oh. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the the um, the giveaway. Yes, we have to do the giveaway. We'll do it after this game. While I try and sort <laughs> oh, things out fast. with this game. <laughs> Too fast. Oh. Gotta slow down. Slow your roll. Slow your spin. No. Too, too fast, fast again. again. <laughs> It really does take. It is a timing game. It Easy is so to play, much fun, hard though. To master. Exactly. It's so much fun. It gets so hard. The the place where it gets hard is when they start disappearing. Oh yeah. The invisible ones. Oh, you made it. Oh, and it pushes you back when you fail. Back a level. So it's like, ah, you failed. You got to go back to remedial school. Nice, one five. It feels very tense. <laughs> it feels very it's non -stop. tense. It, it is like. That's why it's non stop action. Oh, oh, I was just a little too slow on that one. Okay, get one more try. It is super cool game, though. Oh, I stopped. I don't know why I paused there. Okay. Okay. PVG okay. Double Down. This is one of the best games I've seen this year. It is really fun concept. Th Thomas Yance makes games like this all nice. the time. Like really clean. Simple and clean simple, games. Simple. Yeah. Fun. Small. Carl G, looking at the Laws topic, I think I'm right about the Genesis button being needed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't break it. I don't want to break it. Okay, are we giving away? We are! Yay! Okay, show them off again. Oh. You want to show them off yep. again? Well, yeah. I will. 
So the winner gets to pick which one they want. They're basically the same, except the holographic print on the top of them is just slightly different. So I'll switch over. Yeah. So one there's second. one. I don't know how, how you describe them. I don't know. They're slightly different. Um, one has kind of a... Oh, 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 there we go. So one, you can see... I'll, I'll do this one first. That's a bit of a... <laughs> circular. Yeah, kind of a circular. The other one, the other one's not circular, right? It has um, yeah. square patterns. So it has, has a pie shape pattern. Yes. And then this one is, is a little bit more random. More like kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope, yeah. That's yeah. Circus. And they both say zero page, and they're both filled with holographic gold stars. <laughs> one is real gold and worth a hundred thousand. The other yeah. one is. <laughs> Fake gold and worth nothing. One, the choice one is yours. Has your golden ticket to um, <laughs> Willy Wonka's, to Willy Wonka's chocolate, factory. A chocolate factory. That's right. Um, so, <laughs> how can we win one? Says Carl G. We have a question. Right now, you can win it. And so get your keyboard ready it's to answer this question. Possible we've discussed the answer before, oh, but we we're have. not even sure, have we? We have, but it's so, been so long and so incidental. Yes. I'm going to bring up people who cannot win this, because if you won a coaster, you can't win another coaster. Yeah, sorry guys, if you've already gotten one. We know who we've given them to, to yes. before. So. so the people who can't win. <laughs> James is going to announce. Or the winners of past. Of, of past ones. Nostalgic, S. Ramirez, uh, Vitoko, Thomas Yanch. Okay. Those people have gotten coasters. Okay. Um, so, let's just put up the big screen. Should be behind doors. <laughs> um, we have two cats. We have two cats. One is Sprite, and one is Atari. What were their names before we adopted them? Yeah, you just need one. You need to get one right. You've and if nobody two guesses, cats, not Pixel. Not Pixel. That was, <laughs> that that was, was our old cat. Our old cat. So Sprite and Atari are their current names, but they were named something <laughs> when we got them at, at essentially the Humane Society slash SPCA. Yeah. So you probably won't get it, but whoever gets closest to it. Yeah. So we'll we'll give some hints. Just throw it, names out there. there we go. <laughs> Mr. Bingle's word. Uh, oh. We also love cat names. Um... I would say one is weird, no one's ever going to guess, and yes. one is quite a traditional Human name. name. Yeah. Yeah. Ghost, Heathcliff, Lily, Beetlejuice, nice. Chalkboard, Boneyard, <laughs> Rumble Steelskin, <laughs> Toe Biter McKenzie. Yes, yeah. <laughs> one of them is a Toe Biter. That wasn't his name. Yeah, good. Okay, so Bob. so again, sing, they're single, single names. Single words. Single names. Yeah. Jeff, yeah. Joe, Sammy. Um, let me think, let me think. Mario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not a bad one. Yeah, they weren't video um, game. They weren't video game names. Rover, think. Oswald, if you, think, <laughs> if you think of any good hints. Um. Yes. Yeah. For one of them. Okay. Uh, one was named after a character that a comedic actor played. Okay. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, on. You yeah. should give it away. Yeah. So it was on. I won't give it away. Saturday Night Live. Yes. It was the name of the character that a. Yeah. Um, actor played well, you can, on Saturday you, Night, you, Night Live. The, the actor's name. You could give the actor's name. <sighs> In a bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Fluffy, Jerry, crazy. That's one word. It's one word. <laughs> one Pat. word. Pat, hey, Pat, yeah, Carl's, good... Carl's, yeah, Carl's, you're in the you know, right, you're in the you right know, that's ballpark. A character. Probably in the right era. Yes, that is the right era. The right era of SNL. Um, what era was it? 90s? 90s? 80s, 90s. Could even be late, late, late 80s. Late 80s? Uh, 90s. Yeah. Um, late 90s. Okay, the actor who played this character. Is Canadian. Is Canadian. <laughs> that's a, Yeah. Laser face. <laughs> You're getting close. Laser You're getting face. close. Laser La face yeah. O'Brien. Mango. <laughs> um, well, why are you on that? 
Toots is the driving cat. Good one. Good <laughs> it's one. It's a good one. Uh, um, it's a human okay, character. Okay. Do you want to give away the actor's name? Yes. They... Dieter. Dieter. Gamma Dev. Yay. Gamma Dev won. <laughs> so this little black fluffy guy. Right there. His, his. Original um, name. His. his Pre-adoption name. Pre-adoption name was Dieter. <laughs> Welcome to Sprockets. Yes. <laughs> you got it, Gamma Dev. Dieter. <laughs> and the, the actor's actor's name was, yeah. is um. What's his name? What's the actor's name? Uh. uh oh my god. <laughs> uh. Now is the time on Sprocket. Mike, Mike Myers. Myers. Thank v you. Very dance. Yes. Very dance. Congratulations, <laughs> Gamma Dev. Should we give away the the other cat's name? Uh, where the, where sure. Did, yeah. Our, so, Philip. Philip was the other. Cat. Was Atari's original name. So we had Philip and Dieter. Dieter. I don't know where Dieter came from. That's really funny. But yeah. So. And yeah, Philip and Dieter became Atari and Sprite. So I've written you down, and now you get <laughs> yeah. to pick which coaster you want. Yeah, Gamma Dev. Do you want so, the 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 one triangle pie shaped it one? It kind of has the pie shaped. Well, you can't see it from this far. Oh, you can a little bit. You can do it again. Here. Kind of. You can. You can sort of see that. Pie shaped. It's the pie shaped one. It's okay. You have to tilt it around so you can see the the, the flashiness. Pie shaped. Or. Kind of all sparkly. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope or the pie. The gigantic pie graph. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, I could just look at it all the time. <laughs> there you go. I take the one with real gold, says Pikachu Doldown. <laughs> well, we can't anyway, tell you which one to, is real Anyway, up to Gamma Dev. Good job. Good job, Gamma Dev. Yep. <laughs> so you just post in the chat which one you want. Uh, so the... Um, the hunch about using the Genesis controller was correct. It was looking it for a Genesis controller. Ah, uh, good. Which is pretty unique that you must use a Genesis yes. controller for a game, but come on, get off there, stinkies. <laughs> Gamma Dev's still deciding? Mmm, pie! You I think Gamma Dev wants the pie one. <laughs> okay, I'll give it the pie one. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna continue on now. Back to Zelda? With uh, Zelda, Legend of Zelda by MZX Rules. Or MZX rules, depending on where in the world they so are. So what is up? That's your inventory. Inventory. Try the other buttons. Okay. Nothing? So that's just okay. nothing yet, but I probably don't have anything. It's a. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Go up, up, up. You need the sword. Da da da. <gasps> yeah, I got my sword. Oh boy. Listen to that music. Great music. Oh, got one hit on him. Oh, nice effect when you hit him. Oh, the music is fantastic! It's perfect, actually. <laughs> I can see this getting nominated for music oh, when it gets easily, finished. easily. So it's still a work in progress? Yes. Yeah, give me the hearts. Heart. Has Tanya not played Zelda? Neither of us have played Zelda. I... Modern Zelda, you've played. No, I've played old Zelda at some point, but a long time ago. I, I was not... I... I uh, Played more Mario back in the day than I played Zelda. Me too. So I was more about the Mario. But now she plays modern Zelda. I know I played modern Zelda. You didn't finish either of them yet. Uh, I know I finished. Did I finish Breath, of, Breath the of the Wild? I don't think I. I don't remember no, you telling me. No, I didn't. Me. I didn't. <laughs> I uh, Tears of the Kingdom came out and I was so excited. I I never I never actually Abandoned. completed. I I do have a bad habit though. <gasps> Nothing Sorry. in there. Uh, I do have a bad habit, though, of not wanting to finish main quests because I just mm. want to make sure I absolutely get absolutely everything. And that takes too long. And then, and then I never, I never get distracted. And... I still haven't finished Baldur's Gate 3 because I just... I <laughs> too many know. things to I do. I just don't want to... Too many cats to talk to. Right? In Baldur's Gate? many cats. Yes. <laughs> Best feature of a game ever. Talking to cats. You can, you can hiss, cast... Hiss, I say. Hiss. Hiss. Hiss, I say. <laughs> Um, uh, the best feature ever is the s speaking, speaking to animals and being able to talk to all the stray cats in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> best, best feature ever. 
This stuff sure is pricey. Uh -oh. 99, 25, 30. I don't know what these things are. You do not have enough. To do anything? Because I don't know if 10 or 16, but 10 is probably the gold you have. All so. right. That's fine. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just random. randomly going places. Do they just meow? No, they talk. Well, they meow if you don't have animal speech. Yeah. But if you have animal speech, you can actually talk to them and, and learn things. Yeah. And go uh, on quests. Some and are really, you really stuff. scared of you. Uh, some try to uh, recruit you for their cult. <laughs> um, you know, because they they worship certain certain deities. Yeah. Um, some are some are your friends. There's one who thinks they are basically the queen of the <laughs> house that they're in. And, they are. Um, they? <gasps> big big heart. Yay! Yay! Okay, that's a that's a little taste of this. Obviously, yeah. Zelda is a huge game. Uh, uh, next one we're going to be playing is Space Instigators, twentieth anniversary edition. I plug the normal joystick in again. And Carl G One actually does say hiss hiss I say, which is hilarious. It is hiss hiss, hiss I say. I say. <laughs> Would this be the zero with quest? Good question. <laughs> oh, could be. Mm. <laughs> what cat wouldn't think they're royalty? Exactly. Okay, this is uh, Space Instigator's 20th anniversary edition uh, by Christopher Tumber. I like that you have them all in order. It makes it very easy me to, for me to find them. Oh! Thank you, Beer Pocock! Cats, 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 cats. It's party time for little kittens. Who wants some party? Oof. Party catnip. We just had the robot. The party? We just had the robot come through. Yeah. Yeah. It's already fluffy in here. Okay, let's give you a little bit. Time. Thank you, Beer Poco. Thank you, Beer Poco. The Pocock. cats, thank you. They're going to be rolling around in short order. Space instigators? Space instigators. I like that. Instigators. Great title screen. And very smart to do the back and forth. Fernando has to go. I'm so oh, sorry. No. It's almost one. One word for Alien Holocaust 2, the continuous screen has an Easter egg. Oh, thank you. We will look Thanks for, for that. Thanks for playing the game. Okay, Fernando, catch it on, on the YouTube after. But thank you for, for watching for as long yeah, as you have. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's, we're playing a lot of games. We're playing today. in order, too. So, yeah. Actually, we're almost. Well, then we're playing Thomas Yanch's okay. game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it'll be a little while. Yeah. Thank you for staying thank up. You for, thank you for coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Kitties, Looking how are you, get, you getting game. nice in uh, catnip high? Getting all I do poly. find Atari does tend to have an advantage if you do treat time after the catnip. So he we'll does. see how it goes in the next round. Yeah, but you have to give him a bit of time, oh. though. Oh! oh! What is this? His paw came out and, and Sprite got very upset. <laughs> yeah, almost started a, a Nice attack, cat Sprite. Hustle. Check the replay. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Vicious. Uh, Vicious cats. They're funny. Okay, into the tiny corner you go, little cat. <laughs> All right, space okay. instigator. Okay, NTSC sound probably on or off. Yeah, we want it on. NTSC. Definitely NTSC. Okay. Oh, fighting! <laughs> you know the game. Shoot the aliens before they get down to the bottom. Avoid their bullets. Very beautiful version of it. Graphics are great. Sound is good. They've got a lot of aliens. How many do they have across? It's eight now, but I think you got a row. So I think there was nine across. Chitlala. This looks familiar. Does it? It's very, Could very it be a familiar. port? Could be. Could be a work in progress port, even. Using a good tactic. I'm not doing that well. 
No, definitely done there. Ah, I've definitely done better on this game. Squish. Smoosh. Why are you guys? Why are you attacking Atari Sprite? Oh my gosh! What is what is happening? <laughs> There's cat cat anger happening right now. Never seen them do this before. Oh, what is going on? Still a work in progress. Did that happen when the uh, sh the shields went away? Oh, you're back in. Yes, back it in did. business. It did. Ah! And dead. And mm -hmm. it's like and demo. And demo. <laughs> back to the demo. Sprites all hopped up on Google. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the category for this game is uh, best Atari 2600 work in progress. So it's not <laughs> uh, it's not finished yet, and that's obviously um, something that needs to be looked at if it mm. has not all be already been. I like uh, a sprite. My weed get get away. <laughs> it's my weed. It's my uh, cat weed. And then someone says, "Mortal Kombat theme begins." Fight. Fight. <laughs> Next game is Zed Keep. By Christoph Klukseg, KK Altair, and uh, Hoffman for the Chiphead track. Nice. This one is astounding. So. <gasps> I love this one. Okay. So this is a port of. Ah, right down the hole. <laughs> first hole she encounters. So this is a port of an Atari 8 bit game. Uh, uh, Yoop, which is phenomenal, and I never thought I'd see this come to the 2600. I thought it would be near impossible to port. Whoa! Quick moves. Mid jump, he switched back, luckily. So you control the little bouncy ball, and you gotta keep on the platforms. And there's some platforms that make you jump. A little bit further to go over gaps. You don't push the button though, do you? Nothing. No. no. It's just moving left and right. Technically, you could view, you could play this game on the track and field controller. <laughs> if you really wanted to, it might not be bad on the track and field controller. It has great music, uh, near impossible graphics. I, I did let the uh, developer know about that uh, little glitch. There are, there are little glitches little here glitches, and there, but, but they're pretty. pretty yeah, yeah, they are. Cool game would be great with a trackball. Oh, it would uh, be tough. You need precision with this game. Trackball would work, but it'd be it'd be kind of tough to get the perfect precision. And it also it's it's tile based movement, not 360 freeform spinning, uh, which wouldn't be possible. Ooh, bouncy bounce, yay! Woo! Freeform spinning wouldn't be possible in the 2600. You'd have to have a, like a Jaguar or a Lynx to do that kind of stuff. Driving control for rotary control. Ooh, it'd be tough because you wouldn't know exactly where the next click would be. Um, oof, Oops, just missed it. I, I, I moved and I shouldn't have. Yeah. Played on the joy board, yep. Yeah, very nice colors on this one. Why are you so attacky? Don't be attacky. Attacky, attacky. <laughs> so you can see the ones that are kind of wiggly. Those are the ones that make you double, double jump. And sometimes on the higher levels, I think oh, we're kind of maxed out really at hard. four. And it kind of deceives you on which ones you should go for. So you have to know where the jumps are and when to take them. Yeah, it gets gets harder. I couldn't pass level three. See, that one was a four a was hard. Yeah. You have to avoid the jumps on this part. You never know when there's going to be a gap. Oh, oh you missed the jump. Oh, I missed the jump. Okay. Okay. I can't play them all forever. No, no. So that is the That's end good. of the categories for games we're going to play tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's why I added two more games. Ah. Uh, New games we're okay. going to play. But first, we're going to take a look at the packaging. Oh, my God. Okay, you're done. Mm -hmm. They're you're losing cut off. their fluffy little minds. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so let's take a look at uh, the packaging nominations. Let me just bring up the images from the packaging. Images for that. Very nice. Well, they have to keep away from the attacking cat. For some reason, he... Uh, He's quite angry. Quite angry today. Yeah. He's rolling around on the floor there. Ooh, look at sure. that! I can't see it yet, so... <laughs> nice. So, uh, the nominees for Best Packaging are... Alien Holocaust 2, which, which we happen to be playing tonight. And <laughs> Invasion Earth. Uh, uh, Invasion Earth, subtitle Invasion Earth. Very nice. Um, by Bitnamic Software for Fernando Bruce Rodriguez Salvio, Design and Code, who was just in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. And Pedro uh, Pimenta for the music. I mean, which is not relevant because this is the graphics. Yeah. Um, oh, come on. Oh, look at that. And this is their most deluxe box that nice. they sold it in. So yeah. you get a little UFO. Wow. There's part of the manual. There's the enclosure. Is that the UFO or is that the enclosure the UFO comes in? Or is that like the underneath of it? Not sure. There's the, another shot of the UFO. That is so cool. Another shot, 3D printed, obviously. Back of the box. Oh, very nice. I love the old, um, like, 50s movie kind of B-movie aesthetic. Sucking up a cow there. Yeah, it's sucking up a cow. <laughs> uh, inside of the manual, there's a cartridge in uh, the UFO. Uh, also nominated, Penalt by Carl Garrison. Very Carl nice. G. Uh, Maggie Vogel for music. William Thorpe, a bit jag for packaging artwork, who is actually the nominated person. Beautiful cover art. Very lovely. Yeah, I love the color scheme. You and your and the... companion dragon off to fight. Beautiful landscape. Yeah. Now the one Harpy's Curse. Also this is 7800. Last one was for 20 last two were 2600. This is 7800. Not relevant. It's packaging, but just yeah. letting you know. Harpy's Curse by Todd Fermansky, Revan Tooley, and also William Thorpe. Bit Jag for packaging artwork. Nice. Love it. I love the details on the Harpy, I guess it is, with the wings. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah great. Uh, very, great very nice. Very nicely done. And uh, incorporates what you play in the game, the brick um, that you fly through in the game into the back, the art. Yep. And also has a worn half. map. <laughs> yeah, a half completed map, yeah, kind of. So yeah. It's not going to tell you everything that goes on in the map, but uh, and the poster it. as yeah. well comes it's with really it. Really nice, yeah. Uh, next one, Dangerous City for Very the Atari nice. 8-Bit by Kamil Nowinski. Some great retro wave got vibes going on with that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Dangerous uh, City. For the idea, program game graphics, uh, Kamil, Kamil and Hubert Nowinski, uh, mm -hmm. script and map, uh, Conrad Gimerick for music, and Christoph uh, Zambek for title art, icons, loading, menu, instructions, description, public, uh, publishing, organization. Uh, Jakob Husak, cartridge loading menu. Raphael Dudek, XXL. Um, um, for the box cover art. And Peter Kruz, Kruz, I didn't have the pronunciations here. Mm. I didn't uh, remember that I was going to run into some uh, Polish names today because <laughs> we're not in the 8 bits. Uh, for the back, uh, Peter, for the box cover art. Nice. And also for. Looks uh, like there was DTP. a coaster in one, one version too. There. Yep. Yeah. A uh, like wood burned wood coaster. Wood burnt coaster, yeah, or laser laser coaster. Yeah. There's the front of the box, back of the box. You get a sticker. There's the cartridge. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a. There it up. is. That's Very the, nice. What looks like burn, burned uh, laser laser etched. Laser etched or yeah. 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 There's the back. Oh, uh, very nice. Did they get permission? <laughs> uh, on escape. Uh, by Votator Games, by Francesc Hura, Fandel for code, Ziendek, Eisenhammer for and Pseudographics for graphics, and Merrick uh, Poissau for uh, Poison for soundtrack and story. I don't have credit for who did the cover art, but it might be one of them. There's the back of the poster that comes with it. And all these no, graphics are from the game. From the game itself, yeah. Yeah. Very cool game. Yeah. Yeah. We played through that. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Love it. Yeah. 
love it. There's everything all laid out. You get the on uh, the soundtrack nice as well. Some stickers, the cartridge. There it's playing on in the background. Odin Nexus. Nice. Uh, for the links by Alex Kraken, Lord Kraken. Uh, Alexander Grade, Ander Lex. Uh, oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong name. This old printout, I've corrected it. Alexander Grade, forget the nickname, that's incorrect. Created by uh, Drozerix for music. Uh, Mikhail Spilowski, uh, Micah for music adaption, mm -hmm. and William Thor, bit drag, bit jag for packaging artwork. Very nice. So that's the third nomination. The third nomination, yeah. <laughs> for uh, William Thor. Uh, there's front of the box. Very nice. And then the back of the box. Very there's nice. In the background. Glowing red eyes. It's both of them. Very nice. And those are the, the nominees Yay! for packaging. Uh, always beautiful looking. Always. Uh, when you are able to take a look at it all at once. So, now we're on to some new games. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be playing Thomas Yench's new game. New game? Yes. Ooh, that's exciting. And it is called uh, Pong Wars. And it's not the Pong you know of. It's, uh, it's not your mother's Pong. Not your mother's Pong. <laughs> not from the 70s. No. No. Um, so this is a brand new version of it. It is a work in progress. Um, and this version is from a couple days ago, two days ago, February 4th. Now let's just take a, a travel through where it came from. So let's take a look at... This is the first kind of posting where Thomas Yench was made aware of it. Uh, Zoyex posted mm. this. A uh, fun project for someone. Pong Wars. Add some audio similar to a super breakout. Change colors based on bit which side is winning. Now you have a fun, fun screensaver for your Atari. And he posted this video. Ah. Two balls banging just around. banging around and making space for themselves. And, and it's keeping track of day and night. Nice. Very yin... Yin yang. Yin yang yin going yang. on. Yeah. And... Uh, so Thomas saw that yeah, and started developing, but we'll get to that. Okay. Um, and this person pointed to this link, Pong Wars, which is this. This is where okay. they saw it. Oh. And they took a video and sped it up or something. And it's you just leave it on your screen. Yeah, because running. there's no control. It's random, right? It's random. Well, it's not random. It just bounces off as per wall rules i guess well yeah but it's it's um and it's pseudo random oh so. it does sometimes hit it make it make a space and hit more yeah. and if you just leave it for okay. long enough it kind of evens out all the time well i would think it would yeah because if you make too much inroads on one end the other one kind of yeah. destroys it really quick yeah oh that one's <laughs> Because once it gets stuck, it goes really quick, right? Well, it also hits more of the, like, and it's, opposites wall. Yeah, and the white is, has a longer path to travel to get to, yeah. Um, Interesting. So if you look at this person's GitHub, where they posted it. Yeah. It says Pong Wars, the internal battle between day and night. Nice. Written in JavaScript, you feel to reuse the code. Then you go down to here, credits. So this isn't the original. Okay. I first saw this here, but it appears to be a much older idea. So this is where he first saw it. Uh, Nicholas uh, Daniel, uh, January 23rd, 2024. The endless fight for blah, blah, blah. It's not an original idea. Yeah. So this person got it from somewhere else. Of course. But I couldn't put a hand on it. Yeah. And uh, this person linked to Hacker News Discussion. Okay. Which pointed to this, uh, not this one, this one, <laughs> Morgan from May 6, 2021. Down the rabbit hole, yeah. <laughs> but this isn't the person who did the original. Okay. They pointed down the thread to <laughs> this one, which is from May 1st, 2021. Okay. But this isn't the original either. Okay, okay. How long is this going on for? <laughs> should, I, should I grab myself another beer? Yeah, grab yourself another beer. <laughs> okay. It pointed to this one. Okay. April 29th, 2021. Okay. Which doesn't have two balls. And you notice this last one here. Does. Has a ball and a really fast. Inside and outside. Really fast ball. This one's just inside. Hey, hey, psst. Calm down. Oh, there's anger. Very there's fighting. cat anger today. 
Yeah. Um, this is the earliest one I could find that people posted about. Okay. So April 29th, 2021. I mean, conceptually, but, could this have been done decades ago? Could have been. But it's essentially a play on <laughs> any Pong yeah, type game. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So really, it dates back very, very far okay. to, to the 70s. 10 ABC. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's more. Um, uh, so let's go back to this. Okay. Now there's a development Pong thread Wars. for Pong Wars, which is Thomas Yench's. Okay. Um, Pong Wars, the eternal battle between day and night, good and bad. So yeah. he, he continued on that. Yeah. It slices. That it thread. dices. Yeah. Uh, following the cool suggestion in this thread, I started developing my own Atari 2600 version, which should not only become a, a screensaver, but also a game. Nice. Developing the main kernel provided some challenge and fun. It is a space optimized, ROM has to say within 4K, so no large mm. tables, one line kernel, which has one single cycle free. I like it. Thomas is always inspired by small but impressive games, I find. He tries to keep a lot of his games within 4K. Mm. I think he really likes the challenge of making something really impressive in a small size. Um, to have more control, editing, and feedback, I decided to create my own topic right here. In this forum, I've attached the old versions plus the latest one, version 3, he's done past that, which has improved collision detection and some Pong sounds. So current plans, define and check a game goal, Conquer, 100 extra cells, or reach the opposite border. Game variations, screensaver, AI versus AI. Mm -hmm. uh, silent, single player versus AI. Two player and multiple difficulties. Some AI randomness. Defined controls. Currently, the player can only influence the ball movement using a joy joystick direction. Direction. So it's Maybe not bouncing off a paddle. It's just you're influencing which way it bounces. Yeah, there's no paddles. Gotcha. You're steering the ball. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so he's already, he's up to version six, which is what we're going to be playing tonight. Um, so let's, uh, flip over and, uh, check it out. Check it out. Here we go. Oh, I can change that cartridge while I flip it. Just one second. If you would like to load up Pong Wars, please. Pong oh, Wars. Well, I changed the cartridge art. So you're able to change who you're playing. So you have person against computer, person against person. Um, now I don't, I think the bigger one is harder. Okay. The smaller one's easier. Oh, he's got three levels. Okay. You can steer up and down. Oh, you can. So you can see the score on the bottom, and when it's pointing to you, that means you're winning. A 50 is the middle. So if you... Your goal is to get it down to as low as you want, as you can. I'm not sure if there is a goal right now. Let me just uh, read through what he's got here. So back to even. <laughs> So really, one, it's hard. what you want to get is kind of get it in a small area so you can go dee -dee 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 really quick. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a dessert topping and a floor wax <laughs> and a shampoo. And you can use it as car oil. Um, what was that from? Dessert oil? Well, th that is definitely from a movie. Um, well, I know it from something online. It's it's this product that starts off as shampoo. It's like seven in one shampoo. No, but there was a movie with some reference to something oh, like that know. too. Somebody in the for chat might sure, be able to do for that. For sure, for sure. Might be able to point that out. So like, yeah, it's like the game of life. It's Pong meets game of life, especially with two AIs, mm. not with two people. Um, so let's go, let me go through the iterations of the game. So he added some game variations, eight, and displayed them using icons, computer versus computer, endless, no sound. So it's like a screensaver. Human versus computer, multiple speed combinations. 
So you're playing a computer with, it looks like faster speed than you. I don't know, I picked the same. Oh, did you? Yeah. Hmm. Looks faster. It does, but I don't know. Maybe that's an illusion. Could he be. is winning <laughs> by five points. Is he? Yep. Uh, human versus human, two speeds. Added to randomness, now each run is different. So there is some randomness to it. I'm not sure what it is, but maybe I'll get to that. Defined goals, opposite border or plus and minus X cells. So it might be, the goals might be both now. Because right now it's, it's definitely number of cells. You're almost back to even again. Somehow he's still winning. I don't know. <laughs> it seems to stay pretty e even. Cats are going nuts. Old SNL bit, but there is an updated version in Amazon Women on the Moon. Ah, okay. So maybe it's from those. Remember those old fake ads from SNL? Back then I actually thought it was an actual ad. So, two people saying it's SNL. Oh, you brought your teddy down. Good kitty. Yeah, good kitty. Didn't bring it in, of course. No. Uh, remove controls for horizontal speed, so you can only affect up and down. What was that? Oh, he jumped straight up in the air. <laughs> I think he was surprised by Sprite. Oh, or he was trying to jump up and spotted something. Um, in the next iteration, change the score display. It now shows the remaining gap of the leading size game goal. Increase player control effect. Added multiple initial board layouts. Did you go through the board layouts? No. no. Okay. No. Uh, mode now selected using joystick. Fire button starts game or enter select mode. So don't press the button because it'll end the game. Hey. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to, you trying to escape? Full screen display. I did some research regarding V blank length and it seems that neither required by digital displays or modern CRTs. So I kept the screen always enabled. Um, let's see. And I gave him couch compliance, but I may have to take that away. Oh no! Because he actually also puts in color se selection in this, but you cannot select the color from the joystick unless he put it on port two. I'll have to check. Um, but we'll check that after you. Uh, I don't know when you're gonna finish the game. I don't think I'm. Gonna <laughs> we'll play the game. two player in a second. Um, I don't. I, I. I. This doesn't strike me as a game that you can finish, <laughs> unless it's by time. And it's I don't like, know, I oh, because well he's when beating I me now, and I'm like, I don't even know how. It's I just. It just feels completely ass, random to me. You really need to get in that tiny pocket there. Uh, no, it, it. But then, then he he destroys it. <laughs> like I just. I. I. Uh, he. Uh, it seems to be the angles. If you hit something at an angle, you get more blocks at once, and that's what you want to do. Instead of straight on. See? Straight on, you get one. You. I don't know, but it doesn't look like he really has that much more of the board. Oh, those numbers Does must... he? No. 17? Really? Is it that much less? No. That's weird. I'm not sure how it's counting. Like, it's, it's getting smaller and smaller. Oh, you know what? It's not the whole board. He just has to destroy 17 more of yours. Yeah, but... So it's it's is not... It? The, yeah. That does make sense, though. It evens out every time I hit one. <laughs> no, 50 is even. Yeah. Why yeah. is it 17? Because have... he's just... He's, like, encroaching quite far into your board. I guess he is. Yeah, he's, he's destroyed 50 minus 17 cells. So you can see it's just like it's a whole section yeah. over. So I don't even know what the tactic is with this. <laughs> yeah. It's neat though. Uh, the thing to get, how do you get couch compliance is every single option is available from the controller. It's bathroom compliant. No need to pause. That's true. <laughs> you can come back to the game and oh, well, you're catching up a bit now. Oh, big, big catch up there. Back up to 35. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Oh, I see. You're just digging a hole through there. You dig a diagonal hole. Because every time you go in there, you get It's getting... the diagonal. You have to hit it on the diagonals. You get more at once oh, yeah. when you hit it on oh, the diagonals. Oh, there you go. You're almost back to even. So close. Two more. Go for the other diagonal now. 
Oh, you found a pretty good pattern. Just gotta dig that hole a bit. 50, you made it back even! <laughs> yeah, this just goes on forever. We're gonna play two player. So yeah, I don't, I don't. <laughs> press the button. Okay. Let me see if I can change colors. <gasps> you can't. I rescind the couch compliance. There's I'll two show player. you what you can do. There's the colors. Oh, pretty! Which one do you want? Oh, I don't care. Whatever. We'll go for Whatever a you're green feeling. One. Sure. Go for Game Boy. Okay. Okay. Uh, those are even arrows. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I am the I'm the light ball on the dark background, and Tanya's the dark ball on the light background. much easier than on the keyboard because <laughs> I I usually play all the, uh, preview all the games on uh, using Stella oh my god it, I'm like trying to get it to do something <laughs> I just can't figure that out there we go The interesting thing is the other side can really rebound really quick back. <gasps> Nine! Nine more! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> because once you use once you get like a big outward jut, they can just oh, come yeah. in and just destroy it's that. The, jut. Like I said, it's the angles, yeah. so. Oh, you gained it all back. No! Oh no! Yeah, I'm still not getting ahead though. It, it would make sense that zero is even, but it's counting down to zero. So you know when you get to zero, you win. Which kind of makes more sense the way he has it. Doesn't seem to make sense at first, but... Winning now? What? No, I'm not. Yeah, it's You're pointing winning. towards you. Is it? Yeah. No. Is yep. it? Yeah, it is. I had you down to nine. Damn it! I was so close. A couple more hits and I would have got it. Oh no! What? No, it's you. Oh no! The no. white is you. Isn't it? It's the. It's what the arrow is pointing to. White. It's the white arrow. Is yes. you. That's it's your. Your. You. Your up. You're on the left-hand side, and it's pointing towards you. No, it's going down when I'm hitting it. When I'm hitting your side, it's going down. That's the... Yeah. Yeah, you need to go to zero. That's that's correct. Kicking my ass right now. No, it's the opposite. Watch when you hit. It goes down, right? Yeah. You, you're going down you to zero. You have encroached onto me by 37, and I need it to go back to zero before I get a score back. Now it's switched Oh, over I me. see. Now I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm very confused. So 40, what I'm, I'm we're aiming towards 40? <laughs> no, zero. 40 is even. 40 is even. Yeah, starts with a score of even. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, okay. Okay, so you're not going to zero. It doesn't start at zero. It starts no, it at, starts at even. Uh, it 40. starts at 50, I thought. Uh, I think it depends on the variation. Okay. Okay, now that makes more sense. Thank you for subscri resubscribing, Atari 800 XL rules. Zero for Tanya, 80 for James. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what is going on? I don't understand. Oh, I had you down to nine. I lost it all. Yep. It's, it's a weird game. Because once you encroach on someone's area, then it's they have... It's easy for them to get it They all have back. more space to hit. Yeah, I'm not sure if going into a corner is a better strategy because then they can't really carve out that corner. Or in the middle is a better strategy. 
Stop it. Reckon my no! No! Oh no! You're down to nine now! No! Eight! Gotta get back. Kind of a combination of just wrecking the eight. Wrecking the wall and then digging in as well. Eight. Seven. No! It's hard though. It's super hard. It is. Because you have just the minorest amount of control, but it's enough control that you actually can do things. me think of one party trying to gain control of a political chamber. Exactly. Oh, you're down to six. No, five. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Four. One. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it needs a pause at the end. It, it, yeah. Because it just flips back. It just goes, You boom. didn't press a button, right? I didn't press Okay, button. so it does need a pause at the end. Mm. Probably Thomas has never encountered a win. It's so hard. Okay. Uh, Blink, can you do that again? <laughs> yeah, we will. Um, look at oh, all. Oh, look, you've got different. Oh, ooh. So you're kind of trapped. It's hard in. On the We're going to play that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> so it's mass chaos at first as you carve out your area. And I think that started at 50, didn't it? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, 20. I'm doing well. Oh. 21, 23, 21. Just really want the ball to bounce as quickly as possible off of anything. So if you get it trapped in a tunnel, that's a real... Oh, you've regained it all. That's a really good way to get... Are you using the diagonal method? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> kind of, kind of. Then you end up right back where you started, though. You do. You just, it does eventually. <laughs> One of my cats seems pretty fascinated by this game. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. This is a good cat game, actually. It's very contrasty. Could you, could you get some control so your cats play against you? You know, like they smack a button and it goes up or down. And Well, if you ported this to... Or, Maybe or a touchscreen? I don't know. That'd yeah, be funny. if you put it on, like, a tablet or a touchscreen... And made the touch screen responsive to the cat paws in any way, like randomly up and down. This the is cat our could play it. this kind of is our goal is to have a game that the cats can play via touch screen. Oh, not touch screen. I don't want them learning to play <laughs> to control computers. If they can play, the world is over. Oh my! Forget God. AI. When the cats take over, the computers are all we're all goners. Yeah. So now we kind of got it back to. Uh, <laughs> Back to the original game, which I think inevitably all those all those eventually will become get the original there. Game. They're just interesting to start. When cats prefer to use a mouse. Good point. <laughs> good point. Good point. Yeah. I think I need to get it. I have to carve out a cave. You do. It's a, a cave is a very good tactic in this. Yeah, it is. Because you get the double bounces. Oh, I've regained all of it. It's funny because you think you're doing well and then now it just all goes. <laughs> it all goes to hell. Hey! Hey! You're starting your cave too. Of course, I create a cave by making a cave. Yeah, that's what's, what makes it interesting. <laughs> oh, don't destroy my cave. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, that was oh, pretty good. Wow. That was pretty good. Destruction. Oh, no, 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 oh. no, no, no more caves. No <laughs> more caves. Get back in there. No, get back in the cave. No, you gay, stay out of the cave. <gasps> there was a good one. No. Yes, yes, no. yes. No, <laughs> no. The cats are, the black cat's like, what's going on? Why, <laughs> Why are you are so yelling? angry? What's all the yelling? 
Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm oh, gonna break don't this. Don't break the controller. I it's am. just up and down. No, I'm breaking it. Don't crunch it. I can hear the crunching. <laughs> it's crunching. The my bratwurst. <laughs> my bratwurst. <laughs> oh no. You're still de destroying me. No, I'm not I... destroying, but stay in the cave. Stay in the cave. Ah, oh, it's so hard to steer. Because it changes directions, you have to change the joystick direction. Oh, you're still winning! Oh, by a lot! No! corner but I don't think I can get back there now it's too it's too enclosed Ooh. you're almost oh no not almost anything but I'm back we're almost we're back like to even. 50 50 again oh, again oh I got back in there some easy points in here if I can stand here damn it it's hard to stand <laughs> At least it's an interesting pattern yeah definitely Winning again. <laughs> You're just gonna end up switching sides. That'd be interesting. It's just bouncing back and forth. <gasps> no! Oh my god. That was a lot. That was a lot. No, get back in there! Get back in there! Gotta cut you off. Yes! No! There oh, we no, go. No, no, go back! Go back! You're still winning somehow. No, go. Oh my goodness. Look at that crunching. I know it's crunching. I know I'm not intentionally crunching it. Your joysticks have no warranty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're, now you're winning. Oh, I gotta get. If I can get back into that tiny little area up there. I don't think I can. I can really get a bunch no, of no. points. No, no, go back, go back, go back, go back. Get back in there. <gasps> yes, no. Oh, I almost stayed in there. Come on. I just need to get in there and I can win. Damn it. So close. Oh, damn it. The bounces are... Oh, you're gaining again. Oh, you're closing it off. No, no, no. Oh, you gained so much. I was so close. Yep, almost made it. Okay. Get in there. Stay in there. Yes. Oh. Oh, get it all back. Oh, you cut me off. Damn it. That's right, kitten. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this has got to be so fascinating on this the tw oh did you press a button no oh you hit my side you hit my side that's a winning condition if i hit your side yep oh that's two for me okay one more are we playing um pick a different pattern how do how do i pick the patterns left and right so only... left and right oh up and down oh. sorry up and down? And then pick two people again. It, it, oh. It's on computer. Okay. Okay. Oh, how are you winning immediately? That <laughs> uh, goes back. By a lot. Forth. There we go. No. Nice. No. Cut you off. Cut you off. No, 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 no. You're like 90% of the way to my side already. I didn't know that was a winning condition either. Yeah. I didn't know if he had implemented that, but it was in, was in the list. Yeah. I wonder how well this would work with trackballs. Um, I mean, there are trackballs that emulate uh, joystick controls, so you could use a trackball 
Um, and there's only up and down direction, so you could go spin it up and down, and it would probably feel pretty similar to a um, that you were manipulating it properly with, with a trackball. I mean, it would still be a, a digital movement. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a nice one. Not great, but because you're still destroying me. get a little bit of skill over time of of learning how to manipulate the ball but you can only manipulate it so much yeah like i said you're gonna break your bratwurst well, <laughs> if you manipulate your ball too much so tanya thinks by pushing the joystick <laughs> harder yes it makes the ball go it more, does make it go faster but it doesn't however i won the last couple of games so i'm not sure uh you know what you're talking about <laughs> So. Uh, it could be true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it does make the ball go faster. <laughs> oh, she's distracted. She's screwing it back I'm on. I'm actually looking at <laughs> screwing it back on. Uh, we're all hypnotized. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good. Yeah, it's Thomas, kind of calming. Thomas Mench is hypnotized. I you. think you're going to win this one. Well, uh, you're, we'll see. you're definitely encroaching on me here. game it's a very very unique game but it was interesting it was born from a screensaver a non-interactive screensaver yeah well no i mean you can take those concepts and make them playable right so yeah oh, 17 can i win a game cat says no <laughs> computer says no oh seven six five four oh you're almost there oh, i don't goodness. have an inroad though five no! Stop it! I want to win! <laughs> Cat says no. Nope. Cats actually seem to really want treats all of a sudden. Oh, they always want treats. Of course they do. Oh, my arm's getting sore. Okay, we okay. might have to. <laughs> that might be the end. <sighs> Yeah, it's very, always nice to see new ideas executed on the toy. Very game. unique game. Yeah. Really like it. Really, yeah. really like it. So, the next game we are going to be playing is Alien Holocaust 2. It's treat time. You could load. Yum, oh, yum, not yum, yet. Yum, 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 yum. Before the game, it is time for cat treats. Ooh. Who triggered the cat treats? Who triggered the cat treats? That cat. was RC70. Cat treats are sponsored by RC70. Thank you so much, RC70. Come in. Come and get it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> the predictions. So, place your bets on the cats. Just testing out the bells, making sure they're working. Sounds like they're working. Very nice. Meh, meh. So the betting has uh, started. So put your bets on which cat. Yes, pets and bets. Pets so now and there bets. Pets and has bets. been some catnip yes. uh, given out. It there was a has. little while ago. It was about uh, 45 minutes. It's gotten a minutes. bit of time to sink in. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to affect. Oh, Vitoko says change the cart label in the meantime. Oh, good idea. Thank you. Thank you, Vitoko. Do that while I have a, a minute here. Okay. 
Yes, what do you want? Oh, oh really? Oh my goodness, are you hungry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're very, very noisy today. Very vocal cat. He knows what he wants, and he's not afraid he to does. say it. So, so about one minute left. We've got an Atari cat. Both hopped up on goofballs. We've got a Sprite cat. Hopped up on lots of catnip, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. They both seem very excited. Sprite won by two points last game. Oh. But Atari was very close. He was keeping up with he him about halfway close. through, and then he started falling off a bit. Yep. Oh, it looks like the bets are all over the board now. Yep. That's good. We've got about 30 seconds left. Oh. To place get, your bets. Get your bet. Get your bets in. People are people are on Sprite one to two. It's a safe bet. It is a safe bet. But, but I uh, have, catnip I have some has faith. some influence. I, yes, it does. I have some faith in Atari. Yeah. I think he could do it. Some people have some faith in Atari as yeah. well. Yeah. Some bets on Atari. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So you got about 10 seconds left. Oh, they're all crying. They're all trying to get the treats out of my hands. I have hands. to stop betting so much at Atari. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe. be a bit more conservative, maybe. He's going with three, which it would be what? Uh, oh, you, you did bet on, bet on Atari. I'll yeah. have to. I'll have to. Have so, to. yeah. Stop it. He, he bet on Atari again. Atari? Okay. You feel oh, good? It's ready. Sprite? You feel good? You feel good? He's laying down. Mm. He's laying down? Are you ready to go? Let's do it. Oh, oh right Atari's the off to the races. And, and Sprite. Sprite as well. I dropped one. Uh oh. Oh well. What's happening? They didn't here? see it, so that's fine. Okay, good. Hit it harder. Harder. There, there we go. Good Atari. Atari. Atari's in the lead with two points. Sprite, Sprite. is catching up, but still behind Hit Atari. Harder. 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 Harder, baby. There, there you go. go. Three two for Atari. Atari's in the lead by one. He is one up. Oh, Sprite. Sprite is bringing up the rear. He's falling a little bit behind. Sprite is, Atari is gaining momentum. Oh, Atari, uh, Sprite has started eating faster, but Atari is on the ball now. Maybe that catnip did have some influence. There we go. Very soft, very gentle. Atari again. Uh, Atari is now six to four, if you can believe it. Atari is up by two points. And uh, Sprite's still going, but he's still falling behind. Oh, oh Sprite, Sprite is ahead. now leaping bell. ahead. It's tied up. Hit it. Hit it, baby. Will Atari keep his lead, or is he going to faff around? No. He's faffing he's around. Faffing. <laughs> he's now 7 6. Uh, Sprite is still lagging behind. Can Atari still maintain his lead? He is having a strong rings. He's missed it. He's missed it. Hit Try it. again. Hit it. Hit it again. Oh, oh, Sprite, Sprite takes is taking lead. the lead. Hit it. Hit it. He's got eight, seven. Hit it. Oh, oh Sprite, Sprite again. He's on game Hit point. Oh, come here, come here. <laughs> hit the bell. Hit it. The bell will hit you if you don't hit the bell. There you go. There two, two rings. Only counts as one. It's nine for Sprite. He's <gasps> on game point still. Atari's eight. <gasps> Atari nine, has nine? hit it. It is now 9-9. Nine, nine. It's any cat's game. And oh, it's over. Sprite got it. Oh, by one. By one point. Oh, my kitties. Huge ass. Just pre-ordered the 800 Atari for Mini. And Spectras. There you go. Oh, very cool. We'll see how great, oh, uh, how good that system so is. So close. That was so close. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. By one. one by whisper. one. Right oh, down. Atari, you Right you down are, to the line. Atari, you were in the lead by two. I need to wash my hands. Yes. Don't wipe it on the couch anymore. I was wondering why Sprite was uh, licking the couch so much. I was like, that's a strange thing for you to do. Let's see who got it. Sprite by one. Sprite by one point. There we go. There you go, good kitties. <laughs> So, Atari 800 XL <gasps> rules. Oh my goodness. Splits the pot. <laughs> Those bells regulation size. <laughs> 22. Oh, 22,000 channel points go to 800 XL rules and two other people. Congratulations. Very nice. Very Pretty nice. Pretty big pot. Yeah, very big pot. Yeah. Oh, Atari, you almost had it. You almost had it. You were in the lead by two and yeah. you let it slip between your paws. Oh. Right between those little those little claws. So, sad. Oh. so, so sad. you were very close. Definitely, we need to um, 
catnip up this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely slows down a bit on the catnip. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to the gaming. The last game is. of the night. Congrats, Dan. <laughs> Excellent. Did Dan win part of that? Yes. Ah, put in 400 and 1777. Nice. Okay. Alien Holocaust 2 Invasion Earth by Bitnamic Software for Nando Bruce Rodriguez Salvio for the design and code and Pedro Pimenta for music. Who was here earlier but had to leave because it was getting quite late for him, unfortunately. But yeah, I think Brazil is two hours ahead. Uh, no, he was. It Three? was past, past midnight. Oh, very far ahead. Yeah, if, sure if you're on the... Atlantic coast or whatever. Ooh, Atlantic yeah. Atlantic is three. It's no, it's even further. four. It's yes. even further. It's even further. Atlantic's four. It's either four or five. Four. I don't know. We were looking at it before. It's pretty. <laughs> Eastern Atlantic. No, it's no, it's even over. further. In South America. Well. The time zone. There's another time zone I think past there is. Atlantic. I could be wrong, but I think there is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They call them different things too in South America. Too. What? They're not English names? <laughs> After the events of Alien Holocaust, the abduction of Bruce, and the certainty that they could dominate the planet Earth, the aliens start the invasion. Mm -hmm. So don't do anything just Okay. Uh, in this game, you're part of the invading force. Oh my. And must destroy as many buildings as monuments of humans around the world as oh, possible. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your first mission is Brazil. And it's flashing. Super cool. Passing through several cities, then North America, Europe, Asia, and finally Egypt. So it's wow. a world tour of UFO destruction. Nice. It is also possible to destroy the defense forces, helicopters, jet fighters, and tanks. Listening? Destroying several <laughs> in a row creates point multiplying combos. Okay. Opening up a higher score possibly than simply pulverizing the buildings. After some time on a level, a secret weapon will appear and chase the player. Okay. It can also be destroyed, but beware there are three activation phases for the weapon. The first is easiest, so it's like a boss. Mm -hmm. First is easiest to destroy, then the second is a little harder, then the third is practically certain death. Mm -hmm. Between phases, you can abduct people by firing the tractor beam. Lowly humans will fly through the air. The higher you capture them, the more points. There will also be stages where you abduct cattle. With each abduction, you score 200 points <laughs> or get an extra life. Nice. If all lives are lost, it's possible to continue, but with zero points. So you want those cattle. Mm -hmm. South America is further east than you may think. Yeah, yeah. it kind of it juts out quite a bit. It does, yeah. Um, okay, go for it, and I'll continue with points and stuff. Up, down, left, right, put, button. Destroy those buildings. Avoid. Ah, okay. Don't do that. Avoid the human arsenal. Is it protection up here? Uh, yeah. Refueling, but it may be also protection. Ah. Uh, for each enemy kill, you earn one point, which can be multiplied up to eight times in a sequence. For each bu hit building, you get one point. In some levels, you will see a drone represented by three squares. This is impossible to destroy. Just dodge it. Scores of abductions according to the altitude which they occur. Low, 10 points. Medium, 30, 50 for high. Oh, you get lots of points for abductions. Destroying buildings is not much. Okay. Duck that guy. And then grab him when he's high in the air. How do I get him? Oh, you have to refuel. You have to shoot him. Sneaky. He's wearing Brazilian colors. Oh, he... He lands on the ground. Get him high in the air. Yes. There you go. Bonus. When starting the game on the side of the humans, you'll be able to activate Earth's defenses, sending missiles toward the ship that are about to invade Earth's airspace. You use the joystick right and left to shoot with the button. For every hit, you get one point. Does that mean I can play the opposite side? They were, they're minus three, we're minus eight, so five hours ahead. Oh, yeah, five hours. Yeah, I told you. You didn't believe me. <laughs> I'm like, uh, they're five hours ahead. We were looking at on New Year's wow. about when people were having their New Year's Eve celebrations. And uh, yeah, the far, farthest east it's point five. is five. Oh, wow. 
which you don't think because you think, oh, it's lined up with North America, but it's not really. So on I messed the East up Coast. two people, Thomas and the Brazilians. Oh, well. I, I misjudged. So Brazil games are, and European games are always going to be Fridays now. Yeah? yeah? Well, Brazil's not that far off. You just have to do them early in the evening. Well, it's already 11 by the time we start. That's there. true. It's not going to work well. That is true. So. Australian games. Easier late. Easier late, yeah. Yes. North American games. Doesn't matter too much. But probably late, so. Does your multiplier reset when you refuel? It let's see what it says again about that um, destroying several in a row it just says in a row it doesn't say what you do between that so I'm guessing anything you do other than destroying the enemy craft gives you the multiplier. So that may involve cities. It may also involve refueling. It doesn't exactly specify, but you'd be able to find out. Oh! oh. The huge points are the people. Oh boy. So you can't destroy that block. What am I destroying? That thing at the bottom. I think. Okay. Let me reread that. Maybe you are destroying that block. In some levels, you'll see a drone represented by three squares. Oh, no, you can't destroy that. So I think that thing that's flipping, yeah. flipping out is the thing you can't destroy. And you just slowly destroy that at the bottom. Oh, it's okay. got a... No, that's yours. Okay. Yep, there you go. Just takes multiple hits. Love, I love this. That's the boss. This, so this is stage one of the boss. Yeah, this this is not hard. No. Stage two and three. Oh, okay. Get those Brazilians. <laughs> Get them good. Get them good. Oh, I can't wait to see the other people around the world. Oh, they'll have yeah, different, they'll yeah. Have different colors, shirts. They'll, they'll all have... Uh... That, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Mission is Brazil, passing through several cities of Brazil. Okay. These, these are all the cities, I take So I'm it. guessing these represent... Oh, so you, no. oh it's a cutscene! Oh, heartbreak. Oh no, why is... No! That's so cute. <laughs> so the new... Oh my goodness, right into him. Done that life left. Times. Oh, no. So this is... Don't, Continue. Don't do you're going you're gonna to continue? Yes, yes, no. yes, yes. So there's a Easter egg here somewhere. Don't let it go too psst, far. Psst. Nope, kittens, not for you. Maybe the score? Don't hit the no. Question mark? Yeah, it might be a precision on one of the letters. Mm. Yeah, I don't see it. Can you go down to the score? No, it's as low as you can go. Okay, so... Hold the button, maybe? No. Mm. No. Top corner, hold the button. Go right to the top? Can you go right top to the top middle? of the continue? No? I've been all over the continue. Mm. 20 presses of the button? Mm. Up, down, up, down, left, right. Button, button. <laughs> oh, that's okay. that's okay. I think you started over anyway. So. No. You, you start with zero points, but you continue in the same city. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. It does sense. have a bit of cosmic arc in the fact that you're getting people. That you're abducting people off the planet. Ooh. So the higher you ca capture the humans, the more points you get. Yes. With each abduction, you score 200 points or get an extra life. Okay. That's with the cows, though, I think. Uh, Not with the people. Maybe. 
I, I seem to get points for the people. I, I have Oh, there's a cow. <gasps> you tricky cow. Get him. Oh, oh, what? It's not going all the way up. Do I have to bring him up? Oh, did I get him? Yeah, I okay, think that's you what have to... you have to do. Come on. Nope. Up, up. Okay, yeah. Yep. Up to the top of the screen. You can't go too fast. You have to kind of draw him up. That is so it's fun. cute. Always. I was hoping for a UFO game with a cow abduction. <laughs> there, there has been another one. <gasps> North America time. Oh, there we go. Very nice. <laughs> it's endlessly funny to me that you can fail to catch the people you abduct and launch them into space. <laughs> Woo! It's just like All... catapulting them off into oh, space. Oh, Statue of Liberty. See, we don't, we wouldn't know big structures in Brazil, but I'm guessing some of those might look were like recognizable. Or recognizable, structures. yeah. Oh, oh, you're doing worse than me! Terrible. These are harder now. They're fat. They, they appear to be a little bit faster. Oh, not a bullet. Oh. Well, they're shooting now. They weren't shooting before. Uh, not the ones in the sky, no. Oh, we got them. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Red, white, and blue? I think red and blue. That's what it looks like. Not red and white. I don't know. I don't know if you can, guys can hear that cat. <laughs> oh, there's the White House. Yeah. Oh, not not the White House. Congress. Congress? Oh, okay. Close. <laughs> Very similar. Thank you. Looks like Lippy. More North Americans. <laughs> you get those North Americans. Get them good. Ah, kitten! No, no, no! Psst, 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 psst. Bad. Bad fluffy cat. Got up on my desk. Uh, oh, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Wow, really amazing representation. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I in love that they're just... such a small amount of <laughs> pixels. <laughs> it's like, I know what they're trying to do there. Burn the White House, this huge ass. Well, we did Canadians that. did that once already, so it's fine. British. <laughs> Uh, they were British at the time, but future Canadians. <laughs> they didn't like burn the white. <laughs> burn the White House is fine. In the context of the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Be prepared for a visit from the FBI. Yeah. Like, literally, you can say stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they will uh, come to your house. That's the most risky one, is the one on the left. Yeah, no time to react. Because the shooting. Oh, on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh I got it. You just save in time. yourself if you hit it. What will they have for Canada, the Eaton Center? Yeah. Eaton Center. <laughs> I don't think they'll It would just, Canada. I don't think they've even thought about Canada. The CN um, Tower. The CN Tower, the Parliament Buildings, um, Banff National Park. How do you represent that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> The, the, the Whistler. Water, waterfalls. Uh, oh, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, death. Oh, I bet it's on this second joystick. Uh, no. Hmm. Don't hit. No. Don't do it. I don't want to hit no. So I'll stay over here. Just as soon as you tap. <laughs> isn't, isn't it? I think it is. We haven't touched. No. No, it's couch compliant. Ah, he, sometimes people just like to <laughs> trigger the couch, not couch compliant. I'm going to turn it on till I'm proven otherwise. But this is couch compliant. It's just that we're trying to find an Easter egg because the developer said there is an Easter egg. Yeah. On this screen. It could be there. It could be there. I'm not going to hit reset. Or game select. I don't know. I know. Too risky. I want to continue and see more North America. Carl G. Maple trees? Maple trees? This could be, this could be Canada now. This is starting over again, right, though? 
Canada. Oh no, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh. No, there's no Canada. No one, when they think of North America, thinks about Canada. Come no. on. My goodness, I'd rather that way. Yeah, I prefer <laughs> to be just, you know, just there, hidden in the background or yeah. somewhere. Leave us alone. We're fine. Yeah, doing fine. No doing attention fine. needed. Fortunately, we have the U.S. directly south of us, so it's never usually a problem. <laughs> oh, what's look that? Look at them! Look at them! <laughs> that wasn't last time. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Oh. Damn it! That was terrible. We're the Norway of North America. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finland of Scamp. Yeah. Yeah. It is nice too that oh Damn that it. upper part you are pr protected into. I don't know what the continue like. Oh, God. not really going after those guys because they don't give you many points. Oh, different color. It is oh, Canada. Maybe it is. Well, is it? <gasps> that was the CN Tower then. Uh, I didn't. No, I don't oh. think it was the CN Tower. In the Parliament Buildings. Oh, Next no. one could be Mexico. Maybe. That would be green and what's their flag? So what is that? Yeah, Parliament could be the Parliament Buildings. I don't know. It's certainly possible because they can't make it too high, right? So, yeah. our Arecibo? Our, Arecibo, our our except it kind of exploded. Oh, I don't know. That That is red and white, though. That could, those Canada. could be Canadians. There's only three countries, really. If the North next America. is the CN Tower, then we know. What Red, white, green flag. What? What, oh are we, what is this? This is like part two of the... Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> I can only shoot on one. Oh, now it's changing... Speed? Speed. Ugh. Oh, that's so cool. And your bullet is always at an angle. Is this Highway 1? Is this, <laughs> is this the Trans-Canada Highway? The only highway? highway in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Just goes from Just one coast to the other. It's a song, Follow the, follow the Number One Road. The only highway in Canada. Is it? There we go. On now we're South in Europe. Park, so maybe? that was the second stage. Yeah. Canada's the second North America. So now we're in Europe, third stage. Down Is that the South Park? Follow the Highway 1 road? I can't even yes. remember now. So where are we in Europe? Uh, That could be the uh, Louvre. Oh, yes, possibly. Glass Pyramid? Yeah. Yes, 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 we're oh getting it. Oh my god. My poor knowledge of geography and landmarks. Get most things over. Oh, de Triomphe. why do we do that? Could be in the middle, the Lac yeah, de, de, de Triomphe. Triomphe. Yeah. yeah. And the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Was it the Eiffel Tower? And then the Louvre. Yeah, Damn. maybe, maybe. Could be. <laughs> Barely started Europe, so it's okay. Yeah, Arc de Triomphe. Elf. The Louvre I, and the I, Eiffel Tower. I, it's a, it's not a very 100%. tall Eiffel Tower, well, but yes. They only have so much yeah. height to work with. Pretty decent representation for. Oh, your French is just fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now to. Lac de Triomphe. Is the French flag white and red? Uh, white, uh, blue, blue, red, and white. Yeah, blue, white, okay. and red. So blue, they have two red. colors to work with. Uh, a castle. Oh, Colosseum, Rome. Do you feel the game is getting harder as you get further? Uh, uh, they, they shoot more. Things are moving a little faster, maybe. This what? one doesn't seem that different from the no. last one. They are shooting. The shooting in in part two was was the only harder part so far. This I mean, is exactly the same. Are they are they more frequent? Mm, no. No. Not that I've noticed. This is obviously exactly the same each time. Shoot them and then head up and then da. Ah, go. Uh, windmills. windmills. Uh, Holland. Or other places. Everywhere Probably is, Holland. Everywhere is windmills. Not traditional windmills, but going up to avoid them also refuels. So, so yeah, they they are coming. They're not really more frequent or more fast. I don't feel. I like it when it's tanks because they're so slow. Mm -hmm. Gives you lots of time. Oh, still red and white. Which is Holland? Uh, orange would be Holland, orange, right? Orange, that's right. Uh, 
<laughs> or the Netherlands, the, the Netherlands. Yeah, no. I, I did. I saying Holland? Well, Holland is... It's a city, right? No, it's, no. it's, it's a region in the Netherlands. If, I, They'd I kill me if they heard me call it Holland. I know, it, it's... Uh, I'm sorry. Because um, I've been there. I don't know why I called it Holland. Yeah, well, no, I, I think a lot of people still do. Yeah, they hate it. It's not. It's not, what not it's a very called. windy day, apparently. Yeah, it's like our windmill. That we have this huge mountain, and there's a windmill on the top of the mountain. I never have I ever seen it turn. I've seen it turn. Have you? Not in it's, years. <laughs> I think it's just where it's positioned and the direction it's positioned in. There's one. It's more like a tourist thing, though. It, yeah, people can it's a go shame. up it. Um. There's not a lot of wind production in Canada, and well. We found out why, because they're not great in the cold. Uh, yeah. Weren't they talking about in Alberta? They were having trouble with them. Um... Oh, now this is harder, because there's a there's a thing going across the screen. It seems to be the same. Good job. Mostly the same height. Uh, yeah, because Alberta had some wind production, and they were saying, oh, but when it's cold, it doesn't really work. Yeah, it's that like, makes oh, sense. Because the lubrication would freeze up. Yeah. Which is kind of a shame when you think yeah. about it. This is not Lots of windy places in Canada. I'm going to be getting the cow on the right hand side because that thing's coming from left to right. It's much harder to avoid. Hi. Made it to Asia. Yeah. Where's the last place? Can you look it up? Asia and then Egypt, right? Is it? Oh, Taj Mahal. Oh, now they're bouncing up and down? No. That's insane. This reminds me of a board game called Cosmic Cows. A board game called Cosmic Cows. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I got some extra lives on the cow. Must have bought turbines built in Texas. Buy ones made in Colorado or Iowa. Uh, I, I do think it. They do work in cold temperatures, but it got so cold that they didn't work. If I'm yeah. not mistaken, and, like and they, they really actually hit minus fifty. Minus fifty or some 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 threshold where they're like nah, it's, it's it's because they that's when working. they need the extra energy. Yeah. It's just that they had so many things Hi. offline yeah, during yeah. that time. Are my hands stinky? Do they taste like cat, cat treats still? Oh I did wash them, though. Oh, I can He's smell like, remnants. I can, yeah, exactly. I love the remnants. Ah! Like, Your soap doesn't work very well. Hey, it's Kev. Hey, Kev. It's like Yahtzee, only with cows, aliens, and tractor beams. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> like, yeah. That's funny. In other words, nothing like Yahtzee. <laughs> they seem to be all red and white now. They seem to ha follow a uh, color pattern, and then it's like, no. This, I don't know, unfortunately. Yeah, it could be anything in Asia. There's some buildings. I don't know. I'm sure they represent something. Yeah. But, uh, Probably looked up the most famous. Someone might know, but I don't. Yeah. Famous landmarks. Yeah. And just tried to represent them. Oh, damn it! Oh my goodness! Really? Click, 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 very, click. very. That's just what what I needed. A lot of cat spit on my hand. Yeah. That's what the doctor prescribed. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's very. Tons like, of cat spit. Like, oh, gross. But yeah, you just want me to pet you with it. Yes, I know. He's like. Please clean me. Oh, this looks like Great Thailand. Thailand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Philippines. Uh, what are those? I, temples. Those are very specific. That kind of temple. Yeah. Where it goes out. Like there's some. Um, like, like a pagoda? Like levels like a pagoda? to it. Yeah, I'm not sure. The only Asian country that I we visited. Japan. I think so. I'm so. not very good at. I would like to visit more. Yeah. Yeah. Well. There's some tough places to go. To. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Tough places to go to. Yeah, it's true. It's true. There we go. It's that's the pyramids. All right. Have a good night, nostalgic. <gasps> it's the boss. <gasps> Level three? Oh no, there's there's. Are you in Egypt now? This is definitely. Yeah, different. it is. Oh, this might. Oh. This is the last last level. Ooh, is that my last life? Egypt, yeah. Okay, this is the last level. Nice. Good night to who? Nostalgic. Thank you. Good night, Nostalgic. We're at, right at the end. Right at the end, last level. It's the final boss. Coming out of the pyramid. <gasps> of course, the aliens are coming out of the pyramid. 
Well, they're not aliens. They're oh. humans. Oh, they to are kill. humans. Humans have. Oh my god. Oh, it's you so got him. Hard. It's so hard. You can go up too to protect yourself. Okay. Really. <gasps> it's hard because your oh, bullet. Cat. I don't know the strategy yet. Your bullet is the same spot as you. Oh, there we go. You have to get under him. Wait till he shoots. And then get under his bullet. Oh, you can do it super fast. Oh, my bullets. There we go. I figured it out. Oh, double! Oh, now it's harder. He's smaller. Ah! Oh, it's harder. Oh, no! <laughs> Start again? No. Did I miss the rest of Africa? No Cameroon. No, I think they just said uh, it was Egypt at the end, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and, just they, and unfortunately, this fluffy black cat is on the Emmanuel at the moment. I could move him, but he's been very <gasps> no, angry three. today. <gasps> oh my goodness! That's They're harder, splitting. There's more bullets. Uh, ah, but at you least do, you can restart. You right do it. continue. Yeah, you just don't get a score. Oh, so much harder. Oh, that's too oh, close. No! Continue. I start over from the boss. I think. Yeah, you'll start it. But at least you figured out the pattern. Yep. Be able to get through it easier. I don't know if there's anything after three split. But... The pyramids and the Sphinx. Very good representations of yeah, landmarks. Really Very good. good. Like, like you can guess what they are. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, you gotta be very careful. Yeah. I gotta get in and out. Be careful. Oh no! Oh, no! No! Hi, cat. Fernando Rodriguez. Oh, you can read his bio, please. Fernando Rodriguez. Rod oh, I can't see. I cannot. I cannot speak. Uh, Salvio. Yoga teacher, computer scientist, environmental activist, amateur actor, and now Atari game programmer. Born in 82, year of the movie E.T. the Extraterrestrial. <laughs> and the whole year before Atari officially arrived wow. in Brazil. He always loved video games. He played a lot of Atari 2600, NES, Mega Drive, Super NES, PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. Since he was a teenager, he dreamed of creating a video game. Went to college with that in mind, but ended up being taken to work in corporate companies in the database area. In 2008, he was invited by Marcus Garrett to act in the short Super 8 film Alien Holocaust. Ah. Previously, he tried to program something for the Atari 2600, but until then, there was only the possibility of using assembly language. In 2021, during the COVID-19 pandemic... Did it! <gasps> the aliens are leaving Earth, or what? Something's happening. It's been destroyed. Earth's been destroyed. Because you, you ah. were there to destroy Earth. That's true. <laughs> Oh, big alien! Or they took over. Blue dots. Oh, invading forces. There we go. Whoa. Oh no! And alien it's a big face. alien face. <laughs> Three hundred. <laughs> As I continue it at the boss. <laughs> Good job. Very poor score. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he So in 2021, during the COVID-19 pandemic, he discovered Batari Basic, a newly created program to facilitate development for the platform, Warning. taking advantage Warning. of the cloister Warning. days. The treat ball is loose. Oh! Where is the treat ball? Oh, it, it's here. I had to hide it. Oh. Here. Um, <laughs> taking advantage of the cloister days, he ventured to develop this game and also the first Alien Holocaust, previously released by Bitnamic. Thank you, old style. The nice. cats. Hey, can you not claw up my... Pants, please. Yeah, the air pocock 300. <laughs> yeah, a whole three. Oh, that was fun. That was, that's an amazing game. That's really fun. Really, really good. Really, really good. Thank you, Fernando. Okay, caps. Yeah, super awesome. You ready? Oh, kitties. Unleash the treat ball. Close the door. Yeah. Excellent. Oh my goodness. So I had the treat ball upstairs. We were away overnight. So in order to uh, alleviate my shame and, and sadness of having left them overnight, I put the treat ball out. 
And just so you're aware, there was one treat in the treat ball that was too big to fall out. Oh, no. So oh, I, no. They, they chased all the treats out, and I was sitting there, and I thought they were all done. Oh, cats, come this way. And um, Sprite got fixated <laughs> on trying to get the treat out, and he was walking around the room in one gigantic circle around the <laughs> coffee table with his nose and he was just pushing the ball in a straight line with his nose against the ground going round and round in circles so atari completely gave up oh, oh he stole that one stolen i was i and i was like why is he still pushing it and then i could hear something rattling and oh. i just felt bad for him and so i took it out and gave it to him but he was just pushing it with his nose so he wasn't using his paws at all he wasn't batting it. Just he, I'm like, he is an expert efficient. footballer cat. Yeah. He was just controlling the ball, turning it around corners, bringing it around the room. I was so impressed. What a, what a smart little kitty. Mm, so smart. So you are smart. a smart cat. Controlling the ball around the room. See, this guy's batting it with his paw. <laughs> he was just pushing it with his nose, completely controlling it with his face. It was really, really Sprite cute. Sprite just wants to get them without working. No, he's like, well, my nose is to the ground. If one falls out, I'll smell it right away. <laughs> it was really, really funny. But right now, he's not even playing with it. He's just watching Atari, and then he's he's getting Waiting. the uh, treats that, that uh, Atari knocks out. So clearly in this game, Atari wins. Like Atari oh, is 100% yeah. engaged with the treat ball. <laughs> he put his paw on it immediately. Yeah. Good kitty. Yeah, Sprite, not even interested? Not even interested. You're a silly kitty. Okay. All right. That needs to quiet down. <laughs> well. Pong Wars. Fantastic game. Really innovative Fun. twist on Pong. Kind of feels like a screensaver in a game at the same time. Yes. You have a bit of control over your ball. You're trying to Just enough that it feels points. like a game, and then, but you're not entirely convinced you're actually doing anything. <laughs> it's, it's really, really but relaxing and really fun. Twice. I so did. So you can win. I did. Yes, you can uh, win. Many variations. You play against a computer, play against another person, mm -hmm. different skill levels AIs a AIs you can different you can, boards you can use it as a screensaver you could you can let the computer just play let the it, computer just let it do its thing yeah yep. it was fun it was it's really a lot cool of fun. yeah enjoyed that and alien holocaust 2 invasion earth the graphics are really cool really it, amazing good story as you go through and you're destroying all the monuments you're of the every UFO. every continent you're basically the bad guy and yeah. you're just destroying everything on earth like it's independence day yep destroying every major monument fantastic in, on earth yeah. and abducting people abducting cows, cows. <laughs> you gotta have that if you have ufos you gotta abduct cows yep got some bosses to get and uh and then you destroy the earth and then you the <laughs> then you convert the earth over to an alien earth so yeah. and you can have um, all its precious precious there water. was no antarctica well there's nothing to destroy in no antarctica, it's pretty easy to take over it's like what 40 scientists it's pretty easy to take over. is that it <laughs> <laughs> something like that something like that yeah um really fun fun graphics fun game to yes. play um fairly casual easy to get through yeah um you can but continue I, I, I definitely didn't win it on one game so there's no, a lot, lot I, more skill levels i think for the, me to the, get. the challenge is to get through it all on, one on go. you know one set quarter? of lives yeah one quarter <laughs> one quarter yeah. and i think i could do it in the future but yeah yeah for sure yeah. Yeah. uh yeah thank you dan it was a lot of fun we Very obviously fun. sped through the uh Sped through the nomination, nominated games because we played them all on the show. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to play two new games as well. Um, so thank you to uh, Atari Age for sponsoring the Atari Homebrew Awards. Um, thank them. Uh, I'd like to thank them again. And thank us for sponsoring it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, congratulations Gamma Dev to Gamma Dev. Gets their coaster. Show off the coaster Gamma Dev gets. There we go. Yes, he's sparkly, got Sparkly, sparkly coaster. Oh, it works look from at back that. here. Yeah, look at that. It looks almost like a CD. There you go. Yeah. Um, so we'll be shipping this off to Gamma Dev. We, we're yep. trying to give away like a coaster a, a month. A month, month, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sparkly coaster. Oh, he's still in the chat. Yeah, excellent. excellent. <laughs> um, 
so let's see what's coming up on the show. Pretty much more of the same. Uh, because we're going <gasps> Smitty through... B, you should go to bed 5 a.m. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you for late. staying up. But thank you for joining us. We're going to continue on with our uh, nominee playthrough part three. We're going to be playing all the 7,800 games mm -hmm. that are nominated next episode. And it's also ZPH's sixth, sixth anniversary <gasps> on Friday. On Friday. Yes, it is. That's exciting. It is. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Six years. Yeah. Uh, and then the Atari 8-bit on next Tuesday, and then Lynx and Jaguar next Friday, mm -hmm. and uh, am I getting the dates right? Well, on the 16th, it's Lynx, Lynx and Jaguar. And then it's the actual live presentation of the 6th mm -hmm. Annual Atari Homebrew Awards, where we give away all the awesome trophies. Yay! I don't trophies. have one right here. Uh, <laughs> I have the old ones. And uh, we uh, talk live with the winners. Yes. With their, and they give their uh, acceptance speeches. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of fun. We have a green screen. It looks nothing like this. <laughs> it's our special big show with all four co-hosts. Um, should be a lot of fun. Yep. Somewhere in between, we're going to be fitting in Rocketeer Rebounced, a new game from Cyrano J for the mm -hmm. Jaguar. Um, we did play those, so I can get rid of those. And uh, in March, we have a developer spotlight on Steve Engelhart. In April, we're going to be playing the basic 10 lighter contest entries. Fotoko has one in there already. Very nice, very nice. And then uh, uh, May, we're, we have the 40th anniversary of the Atari 7800. We're going to be playing all the classic Yay, games. Classic games. In After Dark. Excellent. 59 classic okay, games for the okay, Atari Okay, that's doable. Not like the 2600, which was... Whoa, was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> Glad we're past that. Played every single. Uh, Vitoko, it's actually it's it's imprinted into the silicone mold. Believe it or not. Yeah, you can get it this kind of effect. It imprints into the plastic that you pour into it. So, or the resin, I should say, that you pour into it. Yeah. It's really cool, <laughs> and you can actually buy like either like a sheet that has it on or molds that have it imprinted into it. So, yeah. You're all it's getting so very pretty. sleepy. It's so sparkly. Very sleepy. I love anything sparkly. So <laughs> you will watch ZPA. Yeah. <laughs> every episode. Or but right now you probably want to go to bed. So <laughs> yeah, you're already watching. So yeah. I don't really need to convince you with no, this. No, you don't. That doesn't no. work. Why, yeah. why am I doing that? <laughs> They're already watching. Uh yeah, thank you for watching. Vitoko. Hey, Vitoko's here. Yeah. Uh Smitty B. I'll see you next episode for the 7800 nominees. Yay. Playthroughs. Gamma Dev, Chitlala, Dan VC, BR Poke Up, Old Style. Nostalgic. It's Kev. Yay. Carl G. Huge ass. Nostalgic do, do, do. cat ball arena. Cat ball. Here's, here's your cat ball arena. Yeah, cat ball. Here's a cat ball. <laughs> um, who else? Oh, oh is he going to do it? <gasps> don't. Don't. No, no. He, can, he can. No, he won't chip his tooth. It's He's so dangerous. No. Put it on the floor. He's trying to open it. He's not. Yeah, he's well, okay. close up the, the holes so he doesn't yeah. do that. I'm very scared. RC7E, okay. Smitty B, already said your name. Cubanismo, VVG Double Down. Atari 800 XL Rules. Old style, I think I've said before. Yeah. Miss Command. MZX Rules. Yay. Oh, we played one of your nomina nominated games. Congratulations. Fernando Salvio, thank you for the awesome game. It was so much fun playing through that. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's all the names. A cat ball arena. I really love this channel. Always great Oh, streams. thank you for joining oh, us. That's you. awesome. So let's um, find a nice channel to redirect you all to. Um, so I wonder can... if Atari Beer Pong is playing again. Because oh. I think they play every night. So Yeah, let's see. It Let might be late, this. though. Oof. Uh, it might be late, though. Can I... Not hear us. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, Matari Beer Pong is playing. Excellent. So, uh, thank you for watching. Yes. Uh, we will be back on Friday with some more Atari mm -hmm. uh, Homebrew Award nominees and be playing through those, the 7800 games. Mm -hmm. um, so, we'll see you then. Say bye to the cats. Yes. Bye, cats. Bye, kitties. And uh, have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah.